the 9 West Coast, 2012 on the East, girl, you better tune in cool. Boy, I try to tell you this the new big movement. Sit down and catch your vibe, cause he's from foolish fools. That's what you can bank on to the bank on. Talk the more mob and the rewatch game strong. You will not tune in the woman with the zombies. I'm in zooming with the homies though. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. What up? Welcome back. It's good to be back. Thank y'all for pulling up. We are back. You know what I'm saying? Had a little break. Had a great birthday. Shout out to everybody that pulled up for the roast. We had a fantastic time, man. I mean, just a just a good ass time. Just a, my mom called me. She's watched the roast. She was like, I don't know how you you let all of those people talk about. I hate when you let people talk about you. I was like, Mom, we just have a fun. We was just having fun. That's all. But mama's going to be mama's. Um, I had a fantastic time, man. I, I thank y'all for pulling up. Um, thank y'all for pulling up tonight. You know what I'm saying? First night back, new schedule, Tuesday through Thursdays. Mondays, we're going to be watching uh, re, re, rewatch gang specials and, and favorites. So uh, we're going to figure out if we're going to take suggestions for that, if you guys have a favorite. And um, we're going to go off of that. So shout out to my team for helping me do that because uh, it was much needed. It was running myself crazy. Um, we got a fantastic show for you guys tonight. People are already in the waiting room. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them in. Um, uh, you guys haven't already, make sure you check out the new episode of More to the Story that's out right now. You know what I'm saying? You can you can check that out. Uh nope, that's not the right banner. That's the right banner. Uh more to the story is out right now. Check out the new one. And then a new episode of Wording is Hard drops. Tim Ariel. You know what I'm talking about? That's gonna be a great episode. And then Thursday, we got another episode of uh uh what is it damn and that you scary uh and that one's gonna be fantastic too we got angel that chick angel on there we did the the transition off and uh yeah we had a lot of fun with it but right now let's go ahead and get into these introductions ladies and gentlemen we got a couple people in the waiting room we're gonna bring them in right now and get it going first and foremost god damn it my dog he was one of the 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 top roasters of the evening kick all right <laughs> Understand me? Set the goddamn tone, and I want to let you know he's a liar. Okay, <laughs> had another member of tonight's uh, ensemble call me and say that I was the emergency contact, and his phone number <laughs> was weird as hell. Uh, <laughs> but funny nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to put your hands together for amazing comedian, writer, actor, uh, and just a, 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 a darling of a friend. There I go. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Welcome back to the show, Mr. Sidney Castillo. Ba, 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 ba. What's up, man? What's up with it, man? Thanks What's for tuning in the roast, man. What up, Chase? Face what, up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> what up to you, man? I appreciate you having me, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you pulling up, dog. Man, when I tell you, you set that motherfucker roast off right, bro. Godly, bro. Hey, That's man, look, when I got there, I said, I was like, I ain't going to make a man. I said, yo, I need to print up my jokes. And so you can read them off your phone. I said, sir, Mr. White Man, I need to print off these jokes. <laughs> and so he gave me, I went upstairs, I print off the stuff, and I felt I felt good. It was fun as hell. Bro, it was, it was, I had people call me left and right, man. Uh talk about how amazing the roast was, how amazing everyone did. Uh shout out to more than coach. Uh, uh they pulled up as well. And we had a fantastic time in there, man. I, I just had a blast. I, I appreciate y'all so much, man. Thank hey, you. I saw Southwest High School in here. What up, Southwest Fort Worth in the building? Hey, hey. what's up? All right, my bad. I'm done being let go. All right, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep it moving. Next up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got another one of my good friends. You understand me? This brother's always booked and busy, so I don't get to hang with him as much. Uh, but I'm so happy for his his glow up. You understand? You understand me? I remember traveling out of town, us six deep in the car, so we could all make hundred and fifty dollars and share a, a, a twenty piece from churches. And now he got his own trailer. He got a three story loft. He got a loft within the loft inside of his loft. Shit's crazy. I'm talking about. I mean, just a lust. loft inside of a loft. Yeah, it's, it's luscious in that motherfucker, man. His I ain't never been to nobody's house and the butler got a butler. The butler <laughs> fetches somebody to go get the shit that they don't want to go get. It's just amazing, and I love to see this black man flourishing, ladies and gentlemen. Check him out uh, on, on season two of Bigger right now. Big on BET. 
Uh, you can catch him on the road all over, coming to a city near you. He has an OnlyFans where all he does is put on tank tops and take them off. Shit is <laughs> which I put your hands together for the for the actor, comedian, stand up writer, producer, Mr. Chase Anthony. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, I nigga? Don't that nigga that you described, that nigga <laughs> where you described nigga. that nigga Chase. That nigga Chase made thirty thousand last last month just doing this, just pulling the tank top on and then just taking the picture. Thirty thousand. Is that all you gotta do on there? For some people, shit. Nigga, goddamn, shit. Then I, I ain't been I ain't been taking advantage of our youth. <laughs> I'll put it. I'll put it like that. I think that you know, there's, there's certain shit that you can do in a pocket. I think yeah. I'm a couple years out of that pocket of like. Nigga, you do this, you don't get judged like by hey, everybody. Come on, man. Come on, man. You listen, take advantage. Oh, man. You ain't gonna have funny. that youth or that body forever. You better take advantage right now when you got it. Oh shit. I mean, if somebody wanna see just the youth or your body forever. <laughs> Chase look like the type of nigga when he hit 45, everything gonna be different. Everything gonna be different when that nigga gonna be this like David Justice. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga gonna hit forty five and look like David Arnold. That's that's what's gonna happen. That good hair is it gonna go straight to a box? And I'm gonna be like, yep, I told you, nigga. I told you, you should you should have did more while you had it, nigga. You should have did more. Nah. We're chasing uh, Anthony. We're glad to have you here, man. Thank you so much for pulling up. We're gonna keep it moving, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is my uh, my best friend right here. I'm the godfather of her unborn children. <laughs> I don't know when those children are going to be born because most of the guys that she's dating, most of the guys that she's dating are doing five to ten years in the maximum security <laughs> prison. Uh, but you know, we just going we gonna pray, we gonna pray the guy finds a way. Okay, we don't question it because you know, stranger things have been done and have been said and seen. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to put your hands together. Welcome back to the show. She's been watching more black cinema to get ready for her upcoming show, the release of her upcoming show on Kev on Stage Studios. She got a lot of shit popping right now. She's doing movie reviews of movies that she should have seen 20 years ago. But bless her heart, she's doing it now. Okay? Put your hands together for a producer, an actor, comedian, and writer, Miss Keisha E. Bam, 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 bam. What's up, Keisha? Hey, guys. What's up? How are you? What's up? Hey, hey. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I FaceTimed you today and you were picking up shells on the side of the highway in Detroit. How did that go? First of all, my community service was in LA, not Detroit. Don't play me. <laughs> Secondly, <laughs> there was community service. Secondly, I mean, there may have been 180 hours somewhere here or there. Don't worry about it. That's not the point. I was not. Today I was making auntie runs all day. I was going to see all my aunties. I found out my auntie had me blocked, y'all. Oh, shit. On what? Social media or what? On I was like, I oh. see everything. I had to just pop up. I'm like, you keep going to voicemail. She's like, uh-uh. I looked at her phone. Blah. I said, it's a cold world when your auntie block you. Hey, this you the age where your auntie used to start telling you, hey, look, baby girl, I don't, I don't fuck with you like that. So <laughs> um, if you wonder why I don't call, you can't call me. It's because I made it that way. So, uh, <laughs> I made it that thing. way. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> That's like Anita Baker blocking Tony Tony Baker. She blocked this nigga for no reason. Cool. Anita Baker. She blocked Tony she Baker for no reason. Block. Huh? She got my homeboy David blocked. That's crazy. And then uh, Janae Aiko blocked Kev on stage for no reason. You know he wasn't sliding in the DMs. I don't know why he got blocked, but, you know. Yeah, I'll be having drama. How are you guys doing? Nice day. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm All right, scared well. to speak to Sydney because that nigga don't. Hey man, people say I don't speak, but you be like, you don't know me. I'll be like, he right. I don't, I don't know this again. I'm I like I look, man. I was blessed with a security face. So I just look like I'm security everywhere I go. So I used to like not talking, checking IDs. <sighs> that nigga Sydney, that nigga Sydney funny as fuck, boy. Hey, man, that nigga funny. That roast was unforgiving, bro. It was shit. unnecessary too. Some of the shit was unnecessary. Man, I did a whole Listen, I can't wait to Pat get here and we could talk about how this nigga did the history of barrels. This nigga gave. Yeah, that. at first I was like, where is he going? And then I was like, oh shit. <laughs> nigga gave the history of barrels. That nigga Sydney loaded up a bullet in e for everyone in his clip. Nobody saw it coming. Everybody was like, yeah, we, so we just roasting you. I was like, yeah, that's what most people are going to do. I don't know for sure. They ain't and never then, watched the roast. Listen, yeah, Sydney called me. Sydney called me was like, "Who? who's all going to be there? Because that's <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even on stage. I'm like, where are they? What? 
<laughs> you remember uh Guardians of the Galaxy and the dude with the pen that he was like and then Peter just said that's what Sydney did with his jokes, nigga. Niggas wasn't even in the in the facility and he, he hit him and I was like, that was unnecessary. I was was called me back home was like, hey dog, if you ever wonder why people think you're an asshole. I said, dog, it's a roast. It's set up for that. He goes, yeah, bro. Nah. I, feel like, I feel like it is, but you still is an asshole. I said, but that's how you go at a roast. That's it's how you're mad. supposed to do it. Fuck it's that. Just mad. You did that shit the way you were supposed to do it. And the fact that you kicked it off like that made it comfortable yeah. for other he people. He started to it? Sydney was first, nigga. Man, oh, no. 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 That is, that is not the okay. Up, the car went first and then me. It was that, is like not okay. that is not okay. Hey, look, look. Yeah. And right before we went on stage, and I was at the big bro Chris, I was like, I had one joke I didn't say. I was like, hey, shall I say this? He was like, no, Sydney. I was like, all right. <laughs> you got to text me what that joke was, nigga. They <laughs> <laughs> don't hear it. This is a safe space. <laughs> no. No, no, listen. It was, it was, it was four thousand people yeah. watching there. So if Chris said no, there, nigga, don't, don't do it here. Man, don't do that, man. Man, that, I was trying to get dressed for my cousin's birthday party. I literally could not get in the shower because I couldn't stop watching it. Like this nigga walked right. Like he said, "Happy birthday." It wasn't no like he just kept like. <clears throat> I've been waiting to get this off all quarantine. <laughs> Went in. I ain't performed. That was like the first time I feel like I've been on stage in forever. Yo, that shit was no, that that bro, that was an assassination, bro. You were up there shooting people. I was like, what the fuck? And then you just kept going. The first one, I was like, this. Oh, okay, cool. Let's start there. And then you just kept going. I was like, this can't get worse. And then it got <laughs> this worse. Can't get worse. And then, that nigga and then when you said it. Leslie Jones was warming up, she couldn't be here because she was warming up for the dunk contest, nigga. I was like, hey, he can't get worse. Chase, I it's was the hips for I done. That was the one that took me. I was like, nigga, she can't be no. prepping for the dunk contest. Nigga, no. to hear when, with the preview, when he hit you in the preview, when he said that your kneecaps look like they got high cholesterol, nigga, I was like, Sydney's, <laughs> Sydney's not there for what everybody else is there for. It's a roast for to hear, but Sydney oh, so is about to fuck this shit up. Sydney church coat like he was gonna be nice. Listen, <laughs> I see that shit. Oh, rifle in the back. Like, a nigga came in a trench coat with a fucking rifle. Uh, right. <laughs> that's his cream rifle inside the trench you. coat. Listen, <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be like, when I tell y'all, Sydney called me and asked me who all was going to be there, it wasn't one time. That nigga called me a couple days before the roast. He called me the day before the roast. And then he called the day of the roast. was like, yo, so, so just so real just quick. Who's going to be there? And I was like, nigga, everybody is here for such and such. I was right. nigga was like, okay. I was like, I was. I called Kevin on stage before the night before and said, hey, man, I'd like to tell him a voice note. I said, I love you, bro. I said, these are going to be just jokes tomorrow. Like, you know what I mean? And he just like, oh, okay. I was like, I got him out the way. Uh, you know what I mean? Because I didn't want to, like, you know, I didn't want to care. Kev's a nice guy. And I don't care if he met me. You know what I mean? But everybody else I know, I'm like, shut up. These are just jokes. Pat, I just muted you. Pat, I muted you because you're, um, I think your um your spaceship was echoing. <laughs> you have a window open. You got a YouTube open. Uh, is it good? Test, testing now. Testing, testing, testing. One, two. Yeah, it's still echoing. I wonder why. <laughs> Only thing open. She should look like they got the dopest car party in the room. I like what? I like what? Card parties in the room. Is too in the room. <laughs> Listen, the roast is over. Don't you come up with this is a peaceful place. Got niggas uh, tuning out before we get on here with zooming with the homies. <laughs> Fuck that, Tessa. Tessa, I think we got the headphones. What's up, guys? Y'all talking about Sydney's uh, rampage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We talked about your shit too, I thought, nigga. I mean, mine was for you. Sydney was damn near attacking niggas at home behind the kitchen. <laughs> niggas at Chick-fil-A. No, oh, I'm not even on yet. <laughs> Don't roast etiquette this guy right here. <laughs> that shit was great, though. Oh, man. I had a fantastic yeah. time, man. It was. It was a real good show. Sydney, I Courtesy call. Pat, you break up. You break. Pat, you breaking up. Every time you talk, it it uh, get the first word and then everything else crashes. 
I ain't called Pat because I already right. hit Pat on Zooming with the homies one day, and I don't feel like I can get a better joke off than that. So I let <laughs> Pat make it in the in the roast. I was like, nah, you know. But Kev hit Pat. Kev hit Pat hard. He said, Patrick is in the back, just got finished getting his coochie ate. <laughs> Yo. Oh, are we, are we reminiscing? I didn't, know, I didn't know we were bringing it back. All-Star weekend so he can start thawing it up. He don't smell like Oh, my God. I was like, he did, he did he say, say that. That's right. right. Is that it came from Kev? Like I, I did not expect that from him. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, I was like yeah. first of all, who says that? Yeah, I remember all that stuff too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not oh my no. god, that shit was fantastic. So, you guys want to talk about something else? Keisha's uh, <laughs> eating <laughs> animal. <laughs> are you what animal are you though? eating, Keisha? You kill Phil Patrick? Huh? Thank you. <laughs> you said, what? That's fun. <laughs> I was no, trying I to say what Tony Baker when you said that shit that he knew the voice of his for animal <laughs> You ain't shit, Sydney. <laughs> that call you ain't got shit. Sydney was getting some shit off his chest. He was like, "Roast man, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I had, just trying to be funny, man." He had half of that shit written already. He was like, "Roast, oh yeah, yeah, for sure." <laughs> 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 what did he say? Tony Baker getting so desperate, he doing a voiceover for yeah, Animal Crackers? Animal that that is funny. No, he's just a star going to be in front of Petco on Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> walk of fame put that bitch in front of Petco, which was my favorite joke. That was hilarious. Like, <laughs> if I was, was watch it, I was like, that Tony Baker run was my favorite in the Kev on stage joke. And I was like, I, they, they just, they, the rhythm of it was good. <laughs> it's the hips for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. oh man that shit was fantastic man well listen i see a couple of people ask um uh say they missed the roast and what happens uh we are pulling the music off of it because they had some um not royalty free music on the roast so once i get that pulled off of there i will put it online for sale um i haven't figured out what platform is gonna go on but uh when i do i I put it up. It won't be up for sale for long, probably like a week. And then uh, I'm going to take it down because I'm trying to cut it up and use it as a promo tool to produce other roasts for other people. So you better get it while you can. I'll do promo for a couple days, let you know it's going up. Be up for a week and then it'll be down. Simple as that. They, they, promo. Said, they said Sydney Sydney fired his therapist after the roast. I, I, I read that. I read that. <laughs> It wasn't Sydney. It was the therapist manager. <laughs> she called his therapist in the room like, come here. Take a take a look at this. You say you've been working. That shit ain't working. That shit ain't working. Get that nigga his money back. I like roast though. That's my thing. I like that shit. I'll write for that shit. Like I'll take it seriously. That shit was great. That shit. I had a blast, man. I I was I was drinking. Only thing it got hot in that bitch. I will say that. You was drinking already and it was already hot with all the lights on the screen. What are you had on to here? First of all, that sweater was beautiful. Okay. That's what that's what we're not going. That's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna nobody was trying. You say what? You had on the whole church coat. Nobody else was hot. But you. you talking about in, in the race? Everybody, yeah. Angel was drunk. That's why she was mad at BT because what? his joke went so long. She was drunk. Hey, BT was funny too. Oh, BT like, was, was funny. Very creative and funny. He's like, I can't roast, but I'm gonna drive this. That nigga was hilarious with the shit, dog. He looks good in everybody too. That nigga uh, Pat, you still muted. I don't know if you're still echoing because you're still muted. So you gotta un unmute yourself and try. You muted me. No, you muted yourself. To say. <laughs> I didn't mean my, why would I mute myself? I had stuff to say. I have stuff to input. <laughs> I'm not going to mute myself. <laughs> You're not muted now. I had a couple things. <laughs> See, you <laughs> muted yourself again. That's you. That's not me. I didn't even test the thing. I told you. <laughs> now you see what's wrong. Actually, turn the lights off. Then you can turn the light off. <laughs> Actually, you were right. Okay. <laughs> I'm just having. I'm like the my, these the setup like is matched. No, no, no. It's great. It's a great setup. But fucking <laughs> Apple got rid of all the USBs. Like I have all these dongles, and it's it just looks like it's on the port. So if I move a bit, it'll. Sorry. Yep, we just lost your voice again, and you went back mute. What's a dongle? <laughs> It's the thing it's that the on the side of look, look how bad he is. Yo, Pat's so fucking bad right now. He wants to punch something, but he know he hurt his hand. 
Hey, Tahir, you ever not know what a word meant and you think your friend going to help you explain it without getting mad at you? Well, that's not Chase. That nigga was in the conversation the other day. He goes, I don't have enough, uh, you know, bandwidth to. Uh, I said, What does bandwidth mean? He said, Sydney, my nigga, you know what bandwidth means. I said, Chase, I don't, brother. He said, Sydney, Sydney, you know what <laughs> computers, computer. I said, What are you talking about? <sighs> bandwidth. <laughs> computers? <laughs> nigga, I did not get that mad, nigga. I did not he get was that mad. He had to Google it and show me using it in the sentence. He was like, Now say it back, say it back. I was like, Chase, why are you acting like this? He was like, I just assume you know. These words, but when you when you asked what it was, he just said, "Come on, man, computers." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like computers he didn't even explain it good. He was just like, "Come on, no, you know I did go and explain you it remember, good." Remember man. Remember on a computer, I was like, "That's called bandwidth." He was like, "Sydney, every computer has what?" <laughs> he was frustrated because he didn't know how to explain it. He just wanted like to know what it was. <laughs> no, that was not the case, fucking Pat. <laughs> He was like, come on, just know what it is, man. <laughs> Don't make me do this. <laughs> Harriet Tubman. Nigga, I right, uh oh shit. That's what you get That's niggas with, with, with black history facts. You should start talking in a group and you'd be like, oh yeah, you know, it's a journal of truth. And you know, my friends, they be like, shit. I got Deion Sanders, nigga. That's that's why I start catching up, nigga. Everything else before that. You know. <laughs> they start catching up from Deion Sanders. I know prime time, nigga, from, from near on. But... <laughs> Nobody on the railroad, nigga. Oh, For my time. You like, what that thing is? Nigga, April 1st, bro. April 1st, the, world, the LA is supposed to open back up completely. Y'all ready for that? It seems I'm like, April April was... I just got the vaccine. Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. It's, tra it's it's so weird. Like it, it makes your your whole arm numb. I immediately was like sleepy the whole day. It's 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 really weird. So if I just you know, now your internet don't work. That's why hey, I come up missing. If you do come up missing, which we don't want to happen, can I have the shit in your background? <laughs> <laughs> you just you just want the general shit in my background yeah, because everybody else gonna ask for cars and money. I just want what we see in the front. This, this is this is my part of Sid this is Sydney's part of my will. Just yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to outside the frame of that. You, yeah. can put, you can use this in court. If there's a little bit in frame, it's yours. <laughs> How long ago did you take it? Uh, like two days ago. So I'm, okay, I'm still I'm still kicking, but I, I, I they owe me another shot in two weeks. Josh took it too. Josh took it uh last week. I was supposed to take it Friday. So Farron and I went out there to fucking San Fernando and Got in line. This is the day it was raining on and off again. So we got in line. It took us 45 minutes to get out there. We got in line. Sit in line. Started raining while we're in line. Didn't have an umbrella or anything. I hate getting caught in rain. Top three three things I hate the most in the world is getting caught in the rain. It's like, no. What's the other two, to here? What's the other two? That's I've never five. been hurt until that ever. Huh? <laughs> getting shot, nigga. That's, that's horrible as well. Is that a, uh, is that above getting caught in the rain? Yeah. Yeah. Getting, caught in the rain. <laughs> getting caught in the rain and then getting robbed. <laughs> I thought you said that was under. I'm like, getting <laughs> robbed is after getting caught in the rain. That shit sound like it could happen on the same thing. Exactly. I don't, I don't like. I hate when my clothes are stuck to my body and you're not in a place where you can take them out. You just got to stand in the rain. But nigga, you, the rain. you hate but that. You still have everything. Getting robbed. Yeah, no, you still have everything. everything. From East St. Louis, you got to understand that's normal. Yeah, getting robbed is a part of it. Like, you know stuck on like all of that junk in his trunk. That's not a comfortable. Thing. Here, you you have literally been set on no. fire. That doesn't grind your gears a little bit more than getting caught in the rain. <laughs> nah. <laughs> St. Louis must have been a, a, a terrible place. <laughs> <laughs> you walked away with some weird fears. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid of rain. raindrops and getting robbed. <laughs> I no, no, no. Shot, rain, getting robbed. I don't want to know your this four through ten. Been six flags. I, just, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. All right. First of all, I didn't know somebody was going to break it down like that. But you ask too many questions. I know they say there are no dumb questions, but don't ask no more dumb questions. Man. <laughs> you said no top shit. three fears or or you said top three. I know mine are universal. If I say if I tell you guys mine, like, Damn, that is scary as hell. That, that should add, add that to mine. 
You said getting caught in the rain is in your top three. Well, can we just robbed and getting shot, nigga? What's your four through ten? Now I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to pick at this. <laughs> I really just want to pick at this. <laughs> the season changes. I hate. I hate being stuck. I hate being stuck in traffic. Ain't nobody dead. Like that's four. Like, that's that's, that's fear, probably, though. That's probably that's like not. I said. What did, I don't know if I said fear or top things I hate. Like, but I I I, am, I absolutely hate that. Like, if you yeah. especially like if you stuck for like over an hour, <laughs> you get up there, ain't no car flipped over, nothing. How oh, many somebody, times have you been somebody. shot, nigga? For you to hate <laughs> being shot, nigga. That was the part that I thought that Pat was gonna ask. Like he was like, yeah, I hate being shot. Like like that's some Tuesday shit. Like yeah, <laughs> nigga, I get hot wings, I get shot, a little bit of rain, nigga, <laughs> and I go home. Nigga, yeah. Lewis. You been shot? Mm -hmm. How many okay. times? You got a He got like bang bang on the back of his. All right, Keisha, that's not necessary. To <laughs> <laughs> you know, nigga got shot plenty of times. Anytime yeah. that. To hear you got go a freckle for you got every got a I didn't wake up with a tattoo. I uh, got the tattoo years after I got shot. I got shot in the back from a drive by. What they aiming for you? No, nah, just wrong place, wrong time. Damn it, so you was playing dominoes like, give me 25. Pa! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, they were they were hunting pigs and he just got caught in the crossfire. How <laughs> I many light skinned niggas were standing next to you, too? Nigga. I'm like, damn, you a light skinned nigga with freckles. Like, in a drive by, I would see you, nigga. I was, at the, I was at the other end of the block when they came down the block firing and shit. Like, it was just, it was really just wrong place, wrong time and shit, man. Well, we're glad to have you here, man. Man, I was about to say, yeah, like, I'll there's just, a come up story for the ages. Yeah, Pat, fuck you. Sydney ain't shit. <laughs> I'm this. That was just wild. Like I feel like getting lit on fire is like to here's number seventeen or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most people, most like, yeah, that's annoying. Them. But <laughs> most people won't find themselves in a situation where you get set on fire. So that's not a common thing. Like I said, you like, gun, gun violence. Gun violence is way more common. Wait, wait, wait. See here, you set on fire. On fire? You set on fire? Yes. Yeah, Where'd you go up, my nigga? Narcos. Yeah. Mobley two, two. from Jungle Book? How the fuck did you get set on fire? What are you going through? Nigga, what? Narcos, I'm telling you. It's a whole thing, guys. I'll text it to you later. <laughs> Still got pending <laughs> charges, it sounds like. He didn't. Like he didn't. He didn't pay. For, he didn't pay for a, a kilo of freckles, and they they got him back. This nigga freckles, nigga. Well, it was pure. So you should be lighter. Was it a girl? <laughs> you said what? No, 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 no. It's some niggas. It was some niggas. It's Colombians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. The, the ridiculous thing is, Pat's not for. It wasn't like. Like big dope type shit, just niggas looking for information on dope on one of my uncle's places, and I didn't have the information. They didn't like that I didn't have the information. So, if you had it, would you have snitched? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, where's the yeah. Where's the awkward <laughs> button? Which one do you press? Are you Are you pressing? What is this thing? Awkward button? Are you being for real? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, sorry, sorry, Chase brought that up. <laughs> I love that it was, that it was Chase. Chase. It was not Chase. Chase is a dick. You give him a season two, he turns into a complete <laughs> asshole. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you, Chase. Chase, hey. the last time I saw Chase, he was just like, yeah, I'm just going to Atlanta for a little bit. It was almost like suspect. It was kind of sketchy. He was just like, I'm just going to Atlanta for a couple months. <laughs> and then I found out he was like the star of a whole show, man. That's really dope. You're killing it out there. <laughs> yeah, That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate you, you switching that, man. <laughs> but it still got like awkward for me to like. I know because I still got questions and shit, but we'll wait. <laughs> uh, um, you can't wear that hat and those glasses. Life story. Yeah, let's talk about your jail stories today to hear. I know. No, you, what you, what's happening right now? I'm pretty sure you have some questions to hear. What was a, what, uh Let's let's get into one of one of those. What a Q and A! <laughs> I invited I invited you on here because I wanted to have a good time, and you, you've been doing nothing yeah, but man, you have a you story. There's no way I go. No, college, we always man. have a good time. Yeah. See, here, I just put my life in your hands. So here, inviting me out to go get on a boat, right? Let's go get on a boat in Newport Beach. I drive an hour and a half to Newport Beach. We're about to have a great time. So Damn, I, an hour and a half. Where you live? <laughs> in the valley. Oh, okay. 
She was coming from jail. Nowhere in Texas, Texas you're saying I'm going to be coming, driving. She's coming from jail. From a business she's coming from the <laughs> desert. <laughs> yeah, I get out of jail at like two. I can meet you there. <laughs> Nowhere in the Texas, you're saying I'm going to be driving the boat. With no life. Oh, shit. While I'm drinking. I get on the boat. I'm like, where is the captain? Who the fuck? I'm the captain now. <laughs> you, you, you drove a boat without telling people you was driving a boat? Hell yeah. yeah. That's what you listen, 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 guys. Everybody is taking a lot of these stories out of context, okay? We can all sit down separately. This ain't, we talking about the world opening back up, huh? Come on, you April draw, 1st, right? Yeah. We can fuck you. Uh, we are having a great time, man. We just out here having, <laughs> whose phone keeps dinging? Turn your phone on. I bet it's Sydney, because Sydney the type of nigga that like to hear and see everything. Is that your phone, Sydney? It chases, actually. Nah, never. <laughs> yeah, I know it's Sydney. Sydney, the only nigga that, that FaceTime people regularly without calling or texting first. He just FaceTimes you. Oh, oh God. You're that guy? That nigga, Sydney, will FaceTime you in a heartbeat. It's because I care. <laughs> I, want, I want people to see in my eyes that I care about our friendships. No, that's not it. He's too lazy to hold the phone to his ear or text, so he FaceTimes you. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, part, this I know. This how I know it's the money that changed her because Sydney never Facetime before ever until he <laughs> started getting checks and then he was, everything was Facetime because he was like, "Look at me, look at me." Now what did I say? Boy, if you get the fuck off my phone, let's <laughs> change. <laughs> you say what? Shit. Face is the bougie one, not me. I got to divert. Chase, <laughs> divert. So the WhatsApp in the middle when you're in the same city. Nigga, look at your headboard right now. I'm in <laughs> Listen, we know we know Chase was bougie. We Chase was living above his means when we were still in the in the trenches. This nigga was driving a '88 Land Rover. This I bitch, remember that shit. This bitch got seven miles to a gallon, but was a range, so he was still driving. And I was like, nigga, you're driving <laughs> an apartment building around. <laughs> <laughs> This Maybe. motherfucker was so I big, he had, to pay, he had to pay for two parking spots. He had to yeah. <laughs> Man, that motherfucker never worked. Nigga, I had to tell never. everybody about it. Like, hey, you know I got a Land Rover. I'm just walking today. But I, I got a Land Rover motherfucker in, in the parking spot, nigga. I learned how to fix cars because that shit was expensive. Nigga, I was on YouTube trying to put a carburetor in. Like, uh, you, should just, you should probably call for help. You should probably call for help right now, nigga. You asked YouTube? <laughs> That nigga, YouTube, like something you gotta know before YouTube University will teach you some some whole new shit. But yeah, no, that car was a bad decision. A bad <laughs> decision, nigga. Listen, and Chase had this. This is how you know comedy is truly a labor of love. It's something that you have to have in you, and you just love that stage. Chase had a good ass job. Chase is smart. Chase is good with numbers. This nigga had a good ass job. I'm talking six figures, and this nigga said, "I'm quitting." To work for chicken wings and free drinks. You sound like my family right now. <laughs> I was about to say he kept saying he said kept saying that like an auntie. Chase got a good job. Are you so stupid. stupid. <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs> Chase got a good. He got him a good job. That's what my family said. My family said you unhappy. What kind of nigga is you? I said, well, I'm I'm not happy at my job. So you making money at a job? You got insurance. But nigga, you unhappy. What kind of nigga <laughs> is you? And I was Your like, dad? mom, what are you talking about? <laughs> Your mom said, what kind of nigga is you? My mom was on my head, like, nigga, what a drink like this. What kind? But then you knew it was bad because she was talking to other people in the background. What kind of nigga is this? What kind of nigga? <laughs> Money don't make him happy. I don't Damn. know what kind of nigga I raised. I don't know. <laughs> You like this, ma? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and my sisters and them was like this. So what? You just gonna quit your job? And you just gonna what? I said, well, I'm gonna just try to figure out what makes me happy. Nigga, you sound stupid. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, nah, I just wanna figure out like what I got a passion for. Nigga, you still got student loan debt. Nigga, that's a passion right there. I was like, damn. Uh, I still got So uh, they're pretty rough, huh? Pretty rough. Oh, yeah, nigga, my, family, <laughs> my family from Boston. They don't give a fuck. Sydney met him. I like his family. His family cool. <laughs> nigga, they all his they all his height. I'm the smallest. <laughs> I'm I'm the, the, the small one of the litter, nigga. What do you mean? Oh man. I got litter. sisters. <laughs> Chase, uh you uh are you ready to go back to You ready to hit the road again? Um yeah, I mean 
Yeah, Sydney convinced me to do some college shows. That was weird. He was like, "Yeah, man, just just, just go ahead and get that back, man." And we did them college shows, nigga. Were you standing you talking there? About online, or are you actually going to the colleges? I went to one college and then I did one in my house, and that one was weird. Yeah, the online ones are always weird. You really, you really are just doing it for the money if you do it online. Because I mean, it's just just dead inside. Oh mm-hmm. man, they a lot of times they ain't listen. They don't want to be there, but they just bored of being in their room, so they just came. Mm-hmm. They don't care. And then they, they, they mute it, it, but you can still see them talking through your set because they be like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm like this nigga, no, like look at me." And yeah. now like this. The best place to do it, it probably is still in a comedy club if you're actually going to go out, man. That's yeah. where, like, because people have to make the conscious decision to get up, get dressed, drive there, commit to the two drinks and food and all of that. If they do it, if they do all of that to come see you, uh, it's you're going to have a good show. I was just talking to um, Chinadu today, and I was like, yo, it's crazy. I know we all remember um, going out on a road, opening or featuring for somebody, and them being... The audience being there for the headliner, but we're all in a place now where the audience is there for us. Like you got people that are getting dressed, taking that drive and coming to see Chase, coming to see Sydney, coming to see Keisha. Like that's that's a crazy thing to even I'm think. See Patrick. Yeah, they see Patrick busting <laughs> open on stage three. He's always on a small stage, little hole. <laughs> <laughs> was I a, was I a, was I a stripper? Was I a stripper? You were a stripper. Okay. You busting that coochie open. I was a stri- I was a stripper in that joke, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 did you done to here? Did you paint a yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I could I gotta get you back for some of the jokes you said. I just can't do it too close. Yeah, I'm gonna start writing some more about your bucket hat while you keep talking. Go ahead. That's all right. I got then I got 30 jokes for your messy bun, La Mama. You whatever you got, I got no, it back. Mama. Man. <laughs> what you doing? You said little mama. <laughs> I just want Sydney to text me my jokes. <laughs> the, the no, I didn't. I didn't ask Sydney for jokes. I said to hear. <laughs> Let's get that clear right now. <laughs> Sydney already tagged me up on Zoom and gave me no FaceTime or warning about uh, to hear's roast. Gave me raw insult. <laughs> I didn't mention about you on um, on the roast. I didn't mention you. No. No, that was Kevin on stage. Hit you pretty hard. But I, like, you just I you just like, sprayed no. the room. Yeah, yeah just, I let you go. I was like, you live, get out of here, go, fucking go. <laughs> you live? Tony, stay fucking right there. Oh, he saw oh, Kevin like Kevin. Okay, that's hilarious. You live. I think, you I think that was his one insult to Kevin. He was like, Kevin said just gay. So, <laughs> oh no, that was Tony. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was so many insults. It's easy to get them mixed up, Sydney. But it was great. Oh my gosh! It was a good, was a good ass time, man. It was a good <laughs> ass time. Shit, that was fire. I didn't know the. Uh, I didn't know the 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 place hit you so hard. They're expensive. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Luckily, I didn't have to foot all of that because of uh, Johnny the Walker came and stuff. Yeah. And they, yeah, they, they they showed a lot of love, but yeah, man, it's not, it's not a. That's why I was telling them yesterday. We talked about it on uh, "Damn It and That You Scary," like when people are sharing the links and shit. Like we want everybody to laugh, and have a good time. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. I get it, but like, like it. Was, I think we sold something like forty two hundred tickets, but it had like, <laughs> I think it was when it was all said and done, like sixteen thousand views. It was like niggas. <laughs> 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 I don't have a job per se. This is how I make money and niggas. Like I got you sit on the fire stick, nigga. I mean, you, you, you expect you expect for a little bunch. You expect for like you know maybe two, three thousand, right? It was like nigga, it tripled. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, bro. <laughs> uh, quadruple actually, because it four, eight, twelve, six, six. Yeah, it's like niggas. Come, come on, fam. It was. It was ten dollars, but you know, hey man, <laughs> there's more people got eyes on me. So when I do the next one, you know, hopefully they pull up and enjoy themselves so much that they'll pay for the next one. That's all you can hope for. But you know, there's always gonna be ways to cheat the system. Shit, I cheated the system before. I know how it is. So was that what? Just sharing links or what? Mm, some of it is sharing links. Some of it is like rewatch. Um, so you know, it's, okay. it's a little bit of both. But you know, it is what it is. I mean, there are certain certain sites out there where you can sign up with them and, and uh, broadcast to them 
and uh, they only get one time to click the link and it's just going to stream from there. If you stop it, then you can't restart it or you can't rewind it. And I didn't want it to be like some shit where people couldn't rewind it because <clears throat> they wanted to hear something again. Like, like, what did he say? Like, I want them to be able to go back and do it. But those sites right there, they're very strict. So you can't rewind. You can't rewatch unless I take the finished clip and put it up on like Vimeo and give them a 24 hour link. Then it expires. But it's, it's hard to like. It's, it's, I mean, there's just no foolproof way to do that. You just, at some point, you're going to encounter people that are just going to share it. So, this is what it is, bro. Man, yeah, do that man. too. I hope, I hope next time that we get to do it again and they, the niggas don't act like niggas to hear. You won't be there, <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> uh, nobody's inviting you to another fucking roast. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, next time, nigga, you're not going back, bro. Uh, what? <laughs> nigga, you, if, if ev anybody ever does a roast, nigga, you started the show like that. Listen, well, I mean, anybody, that's what he was asked to come do, though. If anybody does a roast, you need to have Sydney on that motherfucker. Let me Sydney gonna set the tone because a lot, a lot of people were like, they was like, man, I felt kind of bad saying something, but after Sydney went up, I was like, all right, cool. Fuck <laughs> Sydney set the bar. He set the Thank bar you. for that motherfucker. I forgot to say some shit afterwards. I was like, damn. <laughs> I just mad. Yeah, I, I, I forgot like three jokes. I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be weird to not be invited yeah. back because you roasted everybody. Like, because right. you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Like it's a <laughs> weird. That's Man, weird. do that share and link shit to Netflix. Why don't do it to us? We, yeah. <laughs> we, the, we the little got big money. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. Well, well, don't fuck up the little man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to bless the cash apps, you see everybody's cash up right, right now. Go ahead and bless them. If you stole that link. Bless somebody's cash app tonight. You understand me? Um, Damn, my shit going off. There's a bunch of thieves in here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, hey. young Goose is a thief. No, I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. How long? Y'all think Netflix got long? Yeah. Well, everybody, since everybody's packing up and starting their own stuff, you think Netflix got long, or you think they on the way out? No. They'll be around for a minute because mm, they just able of like I think the original like. Okay, bet we'll go to Netflix of a thing. I think they'll eventually they'll fade out, but I give them, you know, seven million years. I top. think I think Netflix is here as long as they find a decent price point to stay at. Um, everybody's going to like Disney went up, I think, like a dollar or two. And it's like y'all niggas just got in the game. Y'all better slow the fuck down. Like, like that ain't our fault. Y'all trying to cost thirty dollars for a bullshit ass reboot and it didn't work. Like that ain't our fault. Y'all better keep coming out with like these spin-offs. Um, but Paramount just dropped their app too. Um, you got a lot of different options. Paramount? I think it's, yeah, Paramount just dropped the app. And my thing is like, in a minute, mm -hmm. if you have more than three apps, it's just going to be like having cable. Yeah. It's, it's, the whole purpose of Netflix and Hulu and shit was to save money on cable. And now it's like, nigga, I'm paying the exact same amount with all the streaming services. But you can watch what you want. Cable was on some like, oh, well, it ain't 7 p.m. yet. That's that's dead. So yeah. at, least, at least it's still on demand and you can choose what you pay for. I mean, I mean, you had a couple different ones where you could get like, like Philo, where you could just search if anything had, had been on that week, and you could watch that at any point. Uh, and then if you had like, I don't know, Spectrum or whatever, like you could search your favorite shows and just automatically record it, so you can watch that anytime you wanted to too. So you didn't have to just wait to like, like the old TV guide times. But you know, you were a little limited. But everything has its limitations. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't, you're not in a certain country or a certain demographic, you can't watch certain shows too. So now you got to have a VPN to trick Netflix to be able to watch your favorite anime or your favorite um, um, Britain show or whatever the fuck show. So, I mean, nothing is foolproof. Nothing is perfect. So, but I HBO Max, don't you, don't watch TV. you don't watch. You don't watch even streaming. You don't watch anything really. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of TV. I feel like I just try to create TV. So I just uh, so why you create TV. The best way to do it is never to watch it and never to study it. And so that's how I become. Such a you know phenomenon, really. Is that it's all the memes on Instagram. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna take my fourteen hundred dollars stimulus check while y'all spend yeah. it. I'm gonna flip mine. Y'all too busy watching TV. I'm too busy not watching it to create it, and so I don't know what's out there right now. I don't know. Okay. What, I don't know. You became a what? You said what's your game tag? <laughs> like what? I'm, 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 what's, what's your, your game tag? <laughs> It's the whole name. We that's see the whole, that's the only thing I'm really online with is just like video games. <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot. To be honest with you. I'm more of a reader. Hey Sydney, what are you what are you playing? Call of Duty, a little bit of Madden. I quit Madden right now because 
too many younger people were beating me and talking shit to me. I ain't like it. I don't like. I don't like that. I don't At like least it. you, I, I ain't like it. it. I ain't like it. <laughs> and they races on them Call of Duty games, so like, yeah, really, like, just play with your friends because you'll kill somebody and you'll be a nigger, and then they'll like, they'll just log out the game. You like, you just mad. You sitting in your house. Like, do you nothing. <laughs> You be trying to add, you be trying to add him as a friend. Yeah, you trying to add your boy. You be like, damn, they're just kids. You can't do nothing. You be like, oh, if I run into your father, little nigga. <laughs> I feel like I would punch a kid if it was like a place where there was not a lot of parents. I feel like I'd punch a kid and just let him let that be like some story the kid comes home with. Like some dude would trans punch me. <laughs> you know, Keisha was like she used to punch the kid she babysit. Oh yeah, she definitely used to pinch him. Yeah. Like Nobody left their kids with me. We they, knew that. they knew you had a drinking problem in the 90s. <laughs> 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 they dropped <laughs> the kids off. Keisha keep doing this. She ain't even got a jacket on. She just keep doing this when they drop the kids off. It's just like, nah, we're going to go ahead and watch the kids tonight. Don't worry about it. Listen. <laughs> Nobody ever let me babysit their kids. My little cousin, I remember one time, she was like six or seven, and I was about to eat some food, and her mama was like, go with Keisha, you want something to eat? She was like, are you going to bring me right back? I'm like, girl, nobody wants you. I don't like you as much as you don't like me. Kids don't like me. Oh, shit. Hey, um, hey, Sydney, you know Fiend? The rapper? Fiend, the, rapper. the rapper from Houston? Yeah. 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 I mean, New Orleans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I blew, my homeboy speaker, I blew my homeboy Rodney's speakers out to that song. Woof, woof, motherfucker. Woof. Bow, wow, wow. I blew his speakers out to that song. Bro, uh, I, I got a song about coming on uh, the show next week on Tuesday. Are you serious? Yeah. So I'm yeah. doing the next season? <laughs> yeah. You say yeah. what? I'm going to be you on the show. So I'm doing the next season. Yeah. You pull up? You pull up? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to tell that story. Yeah. I'm going to call my boy Rodney, like my best friend back home. I yeah. literally went out the gym, blew his fucking speakers. <laughs> To that how'd song, the, how'd the song go? Bow, wow, wow. How's it look? I'm motion yeah. red, nigga, scary. <laughs> Motherfucker, sorry. Yeah, man. I had a moment. I'm not a little younger than me, so I don't care. Y'all never had me feel this way. Look hey, at I, I, I fought with no limit heavy, bro. Yeah. I, was, I, I hopped on his live <laughs> back in the day, uh, back in December, and I told him I was a big fan and shit like that. We just kind of been keeping in uh keeping in contact, shit via Instagram. He hit me today. He was like, "Yo, I got a project coming out. You mind if I pull up?" I was like, yeah, nigga, we make it happen. So project comes on the 19th. He's gonna be here on Tuesday. We're gonna have a good ass time, bro. That's dope as hell, man. We're gonna have a good ass day. They got just... Mr. International Jones, bro. We out here. It's gonna be a good ass time. All right, dog. Rappers don't like um dogs as much as they used to. Like, I feel like old heads lo <laughs> like love rappers that be like hella about dogs. I, you know, you know what I mean? Like dogs were a lot bigger and more influential in hip hop, but like now rappers, they don't be making dog sounds. No one's talking about dogs, flexing their dogs. Nigga, dogs are responsibility. It's a lot of responsibility to have them niggas like just with you and shit. That's, that's a lot. Chase is completely lost right now. He's trying to act like he's in there, but he's like, huh? <laughs> No, I'm like, I get it. Okay, you had DMX, you had Snoop Dogg, you had Bow Wow, and then I was trying to think of like what rappers. I was like, huh? Well, niggas just had dogs in the video. Might have a point here. I'm niggas had dogs dog. in the video too. The dude you talking yeah. about? I had to, that was very um, dog. I made a video of our dog. Is how he came out of the kids' room and he was limping. I thought his leg was asleep because he had done that before. And then he like. You know, like a couple minutes later, he's walking regular and shit. So I made a video, and people was like, "No, I think something's wrong with him." And somebody was like, "As a veterinarian, I can tell you that it looks like his knee has popped out of the sock." I was like, "All right, delete, delete." That's the last thing you want to do is have the dog community or the pet community coming from you. Took him to the, they took him to the vet yesterday. Found out he had an ear infection. He has like a like a stomach stone, like something like a kidney stone, and he has arthritis in that leg. And we don't have any pet insurance. Yeah, but everything they were talking about, I think it just sounded expensive, expensive, expensive. And I was just like, this nigga gotta get a job, bro. He gotta book a commercial or something. He gotta pay for this. Cause this well, here's the rule. Here's the tough level. Are we ready? If if the Sid, dog no, Sid, no, no, nigga. <laughs> no. nigga, whatever the fuck you're about to say right now, don't say it, nigga. No, no, no you, have have to. you were prepping for it. You if if the, the liability, huh? <laughs> if the soul oh, yeah, is more than the dog, no, I can't. I can't listen. Yeah. I ain't even a, listen. See, I ain't even a fan of the dog for real. Like, like I fuck with them, tolerate them, tolerate them, but they fuck with the dog. 
Oh, we got them for free. Nigga, then you then it set your wheel, nigga, at any time. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Damn. <laughs> the jokes, it's like a roast in the dog. Listen, no. y'all got, y'all got no, a nigga. villain. This nigga skinny <laughs> is way more of a villain than me. I keep trying to tell you. You can't trust tall niggas, bro. Skin, man. I love tall, love bald boys. niggas are always villains. They so always is still stuck. I know, but when <laughs> but when tall bald niggas get the beard, it seems like they clean it up. Like Kevin nah, stage and Tyler Perry. Nah, man. When niggas lose their hairline, they they <laughs> they lose their humanity. Like niggas is oh, <laughs> they wild out until they get the beard. It's like the reverse hairline. So <laughs> the reverse hairline. If you had a car that cost five thousand uh, dollars, and it cost twenty five thousand dollars to fix, what would work problem? Car? What That's kind of different. Car the car you, isn't alive, about? though, Sydney. The car isn't alive. Good point. The dog yeah. is barely. Good point. <laughs> Keisha, shut your ass up. What is happening? Keisha, talk about the dog is barely. 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 <laughs> I had to go to uh, um even uh, money. So, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. I had I had got the uh the infinity of praise at uh. At CarMax, right? And it, it, keep in mind, this car is it's a 2004. Um, it's clean. Never been in an accident. No replaced panels. None of that shit. Original paint. Everything is clean. This motherfucker clean. And it's under 100,000 miles. I got 85,000 miles on this car, right? It's almost 20 almost twenty years old. It, it was like $3,000, right? I was like, man, I'm cool. I'll keep it, right? <laughs> I had to go to the Dior store today to like swap something out. For a client, not for me. It was a client. Slight somebody flex, else. Flex. Slight flex. Slight flex. Yeah, <laughs> for a client, it wasn't for me. It wasn't my stuff. I was doing them a favor. They paid me gas money and paid me for my time. That's it, right? <laughs> Nigga, it was a jacket in there that was thirty six hundred dollars, and I was just like, "Nigga, this jacket costs more than what they say my car is valued at." <sighs> And rappers just be in that bitch, like just th- just just paying that. I just I don't even when the money come like that, I can't see myself just dropping. It literally looked just like I'm gonna pull it up. The jacket looked just like this. It was red, um, and it had Dior right here on the side, and then on the back it had like a bull. It was a Dior and a Stussy uh, collaboration, but it looked just like this jacket. It was thirty six hundred dollars. I was Take like, two of them. huh? He has two of them. That's why he's sitting there signing. <laughs> He Chase is sitting there looking that. like I can't remember. Yeah, Chase got nothing. He got that face. Hey, like, listen, I said, Chase, I what do you think I can do? It. He said, These are blue ivies. I said, hey. <laughs> Blue ivies. I did not say that. What'd you say? What'd you say there was? There was some ivy parks. Yeah. Blue ivy ivy park. Park. Wait, let me see. Let me see. I didn't know they made I didn't know they made mansions. Let me either. see this. I didn't know they had ivy parks for men. Let me get that. The blue ivies is hilarious. Okay. That's what's up. I got the, like the, a, he was talking about the mother ones. He called the ma- the, He's like, I got these new IPs. What the fuck is it? He's like, oh. the Master Chiefs. <laughs> I see those. I like yeah, those. Servers in the same place. Keep sure well. Zoom it. The Boy. blue ivies, nigga. That's an intense ass dinner table that Keisha got behind her. She be sitting right, at the like edge. It looked like someone had a wake. <laughs> I do look like some funeral home shit. I was thinking of Keisha uh, just sitting. You know them. You know them creepy uh, scenes in the movies where they just eating alone at the long ass table. <laughs> it's like somebody from the walk down, walk by the screen and start break down crying. No, <laughs> no, this fucking, this fucking crypt keeper ass dinner table. What is it? <laughs> no, Bobby, no, Keisha, Bobby. Keisha's background looks like we'll see somebody walk past. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do it right, and then we ask, and we be like, "Yo, who was that in your house?" She was like, "I'm here by myself." We be like, "Get out!" <laughs> a fucking you know, you're my back. <laughs> Keisha, when you walked up, a fucking colonial soldier walked past. <laughs> we saw a fucking, we saw a fucking red coat that was pale, <laughs> sitting, <laughs> sitting here like this, talking about. <laughs> Then the same guys Michael Max was looking at with that pistol. (laughs) (laughs) Haunted ass house. Oh my god. Haunted ass house. Hold on. Let me me hold on. Don't mute. Don't mute. I was not prepared for this. Let me show you how to jacket real quick, man. I found this bitch online. 1965 filter. This the jacket. (laughs) That it was three thousand dollars. Thirty six. Still thirty six hundred. Nah, I ain't got that motherfucker. 
and it got a bootleg ass bulls thing. I, you should, might as well get the bulls jacket. Yeah. <laughs> For way less. Wait, wait, wait. Who is this creepy ass model though? Go up. This nigga. The nigga who made the jacket. Like, like, that, uh, what's the show on uh, Netflix? What's the, the show on Netflix? The stalker one. Yeah. yeah you. Yeah. Us. Like a joke. Like Somebody is it. 36. Why? Why, nigga? Why is it that? <laughs> I was trying to talk to the uh I was trying to talk to the security guard. And it seemed like they had told him like don't talk to the customers and stuff like that. I was like, yo, why the shit cost this much in here? He's like, mm, don't talk to don't talk to that's funny. Damn. That I'm shit like turned that. into that scene in Billy Holiday, nigga, where he wasn't letting her on that, that damn elevator. Nigga said, no, 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 listen. Oh, I know, right? Damn, I didn't know they did Billy like that her you whole life. Both of us fucked up. You go, Sheesh. Listen, there's only one nigga on this elevator. I was like, God damn. Sheesh. I did not know Billy was going through that. They had the feds out the show. Like, I wish you would sing that song. She said, Strange fruit. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> no, no, Patrick, that was, that was Tone in the movie, nigga. That wasn't just the, the fans. I was like, nigga, Tone, you, you be seeing your friends and some acting shit. You be like, who? Tone Bell. Who? Tone Bell. Oh, snap. Yeah, Melvin was in that too. Was yeah, cool. Melvin I was. That. Maybe. And he was on heroin, just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha, Keisha living room where they shot, he got game. <laughs> you said back to Keisha? Hell yeah, I was waiting for that. Anyways, <laughs> all of Keisha's ghosts got bayonets. <laughs> There's hella candelabras wherever she is. <laughs> <laughs> Background to that. <laughs> what y'all say? Let me check these comments out. I'm just oh, saying, you got a pretty, you, you got a creepy, <laughs> creepy dinner table right there. Very creepy. Why is that creepy? That nigga said, "All your ghosts got bayonets." <laughs> <laughs> Civil War ass ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What uh? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. What year was your house built? <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> like two thousand? Twenty? Maybe twenty ten? Maybe twenty eleven? Oh shit! That's a new house, kid. <laughs> How that mean? Who has that mean? Oh, hey, somebody said, "Ain't no, ain't been no new construction in Detroit since Motown left." <laughs> I haven't been in Detroit since Motown left. <laughs> new house, Keisha. New. This is in Detroit. I haven't been living in Detroit since I was seventeen. Oh, okay. Oh my god. god. Ain't, ain't no okay. new houses have hidden prohibition bottles in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are some new houses that's been built in Detroit off the water. My auntie got a house off the water. Oh, yeah. yeah, LA. This her boys got all high and shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they do it. They, 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 they all be in the houses. I get it. We get it. It's okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Listen, that's what a nigga retired your chip. Just shut up. <laughs> Take them all that. <laughs> we got an island in Detroit. You say what? We got an island in Detroit. Yeah, but ain't nobody like going swimming in that water. Everybody is going over there. There's right. water? I wouldn't get in the water, but no. Nah. <laughs> ain't, nobody like swimming in that. ain't nobody yeah. swimming in that water. I don't go swimming in the water, but we'll take the boats and we'll go jet skiing in the water. Yeah. I had a we bad to I didn't bring that one up. You said uh, what? Nothing about water and you had a bad uh water <laughs> experience water? in Detroit? No, a bad water joke and, and it just because they ain't fixed the shit in Flint. You like, oh okay. Oh, that's Flint. Okay. That's not Detroit. We got some of the best water. In the world. Yeah. The reason they water is bad because they was like, we can't afford to pay Detroit for that water no more. So we're just gonna get it out the Flint River. Which is very sad. It's not a funny thing, but that is true. That's, that's, exactly what happened. that's why I tried to stop. I was trying to push the break. It's not Detroit. Look at Sydney. It's Sydney, Detroit. turn your phone on silent. I know it's your phone. I feel like I'm being blamed in this chase. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, just next time, you, next time, next time, the day in his house. It's not me, buddy. Watch hold your phone up. Hold your phone up, Sydney. Hold it's not me, buddy. My shit, my shit got that little thing, bro. You see the, you can see the orange. You know it's on silence. Hold your phone up, Sydney. My phone is charging in the corner. Okay. Yeah. Pat. Okay. Good. You you see. Oh, niggas who have a second phone is dinging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you just tried to turn this on the screen. Niggas, 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 niggas with a trap phone is dinging constantly. Oh, That's why they got a second phone. That's why I'm they got a bad one to hear can say that about you. I was about to say, I know you didn't just say that. <laughs> My dad That's bad. I know that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even be lying that much. I don't even like I, outside of my friends. I don't even be lying that much. The irony is that was a lie. I don't about? be lying that much. This statement in itself. That was a well, lie. You don't lie a little bit, right? I, I know what you're talking about, Chase. I know why you made that face. Yeah, I'm like this. <laughs> Nigga said my dad be texting. No, no, he said I'm texting my dad right now, and I was like, don't too far, like. We've already said the dogs, Sydney. <laughs> Let's not take us. That's further. an inside joke. The audience don't know why that's funny. <laughs> that's for that's for us. Oh. <laughs> we just slip slipping inside inside jokes in here. Thank you, Mark T. He said there will be no Keisha slander. Where, was there a Keisha slander? Or this nigga said that, that because he's he trying to holler as soon as he get out of jail. That's exactly what that is. He didn't already send her J pay request. That's not that guy. I mean, Mark, all you got to go down, go down to the LA morgue and holler at her. <laughs> I like school teachers and deacons. No, guys. no Sundays. <laughs> no Sundays. <laughs> no Sundays. <laughs> I think it's the drapes, Keisha. I think I figured it out. It's, uh... <laughs> it's either the, the drapes or the candles, or maybe the combination of the both. I think it's the candles because the drapes ain't, but they just regular drapes. It's the candles that give it that old that old school feel. It's got... yeah, it feel like Mahalo yeah, that... in there talking about I gotta go fight George. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, are the grapes are the drapes olive? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's I don't it. agree with your choice. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's it. I was just okay, wondering. All of, okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, weird combination, but it, you know, it's cool. It worked there. <laughs> You're right. It is the chandelier too. It's a little. It's the chandelier a little bit. You just you just don't like the house. That's what it is. Thing is, he went through everything in the room. Just like just like you don't like. The no, room. no, no, no. It's it's not the house. It's the items in the house, like the chandelier, the. <laughs> The it's no no it's the it, I think it's the it's the triad of the chandelier the orange the whole candles there can they hear any of this shit and the and the and the, the drapes I'm not saying I'm not saying it looks bad I'm saying it looks You're really not really nice positive no it looks really nice for a funeral home I'm just trying to decide the for a funeral home. it's just the context it's, just, it's a hell still but it's a funeral home right That's, have you ever been to a circus you'd be like this is a nice ass red and white Mama. tent. For a circus, I wouldn't live here. Oh, but for a circus, living room was nice for a funeral home. Oh, her mama gonna shoot you. Oh, yeah. her what? Mama gonna, her mama gonna shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> her mama right for Kirk Franklin. I was just like, what? <laughs> what if my mama come down loading a musket? Like, <laughs> <laughs> my mama got three kings and ten. I had to mute it real quick. Man, she was ready for all the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> the mama was the one in the red coat. I just thought it was. A <laughs> yeah, my audio's still on. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a coward. <laughs> <laughs> I can shoot from here. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, everything good? <laughs> she looking like nah. Uh, like, Willow sitting uh, on my radar. We got you. There's nothing oh, wrong with it. Oh, there's God, nothing wrong with the room you. you're in. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> this nigga Patrick. I was just, I was just saying stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said oh, the ghost in your house. <laughs> some yeah. some houses look haunted. I feel like ghosts choose where they haunt. They'd be like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> this nigga Patrick knows because Patrick's last three places have had ghosts. His last I three have. Are still have. have. Yeah, still have. 
Yeah, you have ghosts in your ghosts. house? A lot of ghost jokes. Yeah, I lived in three haunted houses in my life. What? Damn, what Master to Dick, you got a you got a nice little uh nice little donation to the to the show. Good stuff. Appreciate that, Mass. Appreciate that, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't hey. go for Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, that was my mama with the red coat. Oh my audio still on. <laughs> your mama, your mama was really mad. <laughs> yeah, she's about to come and get you. No, no, no. Tell her I said she was coming out like Sydney, like she had her peacoat on. She was ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm so, tell her I'm sorry. It's a nice place. Mm-mm. Shout she out to the. Uh, <clears throat> if anybody invites you to Detroit, like, yeah, you should come see us. Just, just trust and believe they finna jump you soon as you get off the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> you. Has anyone ever been flown out to Detroit? <laughs> 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 Nigga, did anybody ever take a tour? <laughs> just a half a fan? Somebody just go on. Hey, it's like, Pat, come on. Hey, Pat, you said ain't no dudes been like, hey, mama, you trying, you trying to let me fly you to Detroit for the weekend? Chicks, do we want to Don't act like what? that. Yes, they do. Come on, bro. Hey, First class, on, virgin. Nah. Come on. <laughs> First class, to east side, west side. I know you're not talking. Private jet. Private jet. Like all they got is the same damn arch. I don't want to go there no more. (laughs) I went to the arch two times. There's nothing else there in the barn. The skating rink in the barn. I'm not going there no more. (laughs) I heard Detroit. The airport is the nicest thing about Detroit. Niggas fly to Detroit. Have an airport. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas fly to Detroit, look at the airport, we're like, oh, this is nice. And they get back on their return flight. <laughs> St. Louis doesn't have I don't airport. think so, but it's a small, it, it is a small airport, but they got one. In Detroit, the planes will never stop. They just coast because they made it. So you know, you out. Come on now. We got to take back off. We're in Detroit. Listen, listen. When, you, when you fly into Detroit, they slow down, throw your luggage off. They fly you to the next city. You got to catch a bus back. <laughs> All the Detroit planes don't have wheels. Brace yourself, fam. <laughs> Use the express. <laughs> 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 uh, I know Cindy not talking from Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, Funky Town, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, just got, yeah. they just got shoes in Fort Worth. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got rubber at the bottom? Yeah, these is real shoes right here. <laughs> <laughs> they got rubber 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 rubber. These on. So yeah, like, they, 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 they just got inside plumbing. Down here right in Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they called it Funky Town, Texas, nigga. It was all quarter parties next to niggas' houses. Hey, man. <laughs> you know, you be from Fort Worth and not know way, not know your way around Dallas like that. That's how I am. So people like Dallas, like nigga, I still don't know my way around Dallas. How far is it? Like 45, 50 minutes. Okay. That nigga's right. That shit right next to it, bro. Funky Town, it- Texas. Right, Sid, do you like Dallas? Because like every everybody I meet from Texas has like completely different opinions about Houston and Dallas. I love Houston. I don't really frequent Dallas like that, like except I have business, but like I like Houston. It's a oh, big okay. city, it's a lot of black people out there. It's like it was a lot of things to do. It was just like it's a big ass city, it's a bunch of black people. It's cool. I like it a lot. I ain't really kicking in Dallas like that. I love Houston. Yeah, but my, my people used to live in Houston, so I used to be out there. It's cool. I like Houston. You see, I got all serious from uh from uh Dallas? Uh, Fort Worth. That's a good question to hear. Um, Fort Worth is like Fresno. It's like first the Fresno. Of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, be quiet because they're doing a wake behind you and they need to be about <laughs> <laughs> And you're talking while they're, try, while they're trying to see Uncle Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> they got to have an open cast because you got the chandelier popping. <laughs> the reception about to start filling in. Yeah, yeah. The your mom about to lay out the devil eggs any minute now. <laughs> it's four hours before we <laughs> It still look like some, there's some deviled eggs in that table. Yeah, it's always some cranberry sauce and some deviled eggs. Some in that cranberry night. sauce. <laughs> Hella iced tea. Sweet uh, iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> it was hella icy. He should have had three glasses since she been on the show. <laughs> Shut up. I had to come to that repast. They're like, who the fuck been eating the porridge? <laughs> it's the porridge. She I'm keep coming in like, thirst. Y'all know y'all get thirsty. Y'all come see Miss Edwards in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they called you Miss Edwards. <laughs> 
That's why Keisha been chewing this whole time. Those are all funeral snacks. She just, <laughs> she, she keeps coming. A funeral snack. <laughs> she just keeps coming in, just like she just eat <laughs> potato salad and pigs oh, in the morning yes, for an hour straight. <laughs> Patrick, what the fuck is wrong with you? Man? I'm on a Zoom. I'm on a Zoom. <laughs> 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 Let me get some shrimp. I don't know what happened to Patrick or Meg. Neither one of them would like this when I first started working at All Dev Digital. Patrick was super chill. The shit. Man, was he got it? tired. They was like, we gotta kick this shit up. And I was yeah. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I was an equipment manager. I wanted my job. <laughs> this this manager just can't be was, loose. was not like this at first. He's different now. This <laughs> Oh my god! I was at a, I was clocked in. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> the candles in the back. Oh. oh shit! She moved again. All right. Well, there's the flowers too. I forgot. It is the flowers too. It's a combination of a bunch of stuff. Yeah, just show us the whole room. Oh, come on! Even the cat died. Everything died in that <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you uh, wait, when Keisha need to remodel, she just say Beetlejuice three times. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I'm about to just call my mom again. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They film in the heat of the night in that living room. <laughs> hey, that used to be my show. <laughs> oh my god, uh, nigga, that that Beetlejuice part—that's gonna be highlight clip, nigga. That's making it on somebody's real. I guarantee, you, nigga. Come back, Pat. Oh my god, nah, your mama gone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Pat started off with audio problems and came out fire. <laughs> a nigga said, oh, Sydney, I got it from here. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> oh, good, man. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry, Keisha. Don't be, uh, don't be walking through this room thinking some type of way. <laughs> <laughs> Not forgive feel- me. Don't feel some type of way when you come in here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit. No, I'm serious. Keisha, have you ever seen a ghost? This has nothing to do with where you at right now. I just want to know in your life. Have you ever seen a ghost? I think you're the one that's been living in haunted houses. But that's, uh, that's why I'm asked. This is interest. This isn't a roast. What uh, have you ever do you believe? No, I've never seen a ghost. Do you believe? Mm-mm. Really? No ghosts or aliens, nothing, nothing supernatural. <laughs> that's crazy because ghost- actually I do believe in aliens, but I don't believe in ghosts. But no ghosts. Mm-mm. That's crazy. The ghost of unemployment lives in Detroit right now, so I would have thought oh, that you were... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of unemployment. Sheesh. <laughs> getting worse. <laughs> so here, no, so here does this because he knows there's, no, there's nothing to say about me. It, it doesn't, it's such a non-factor. There's nothing there. I always, I, I always know you're going to go straight for St. Louis, so I never even worry about East St. Louis because I figure you ain't going to say nothing about East, it. I forgot East St. Louis. Was, I mean, East hey. St. Louis, St. Louis. East no. St. Louis, it's a different place. We didn't have sidewalks in East St. Louis. For uh, y'all don't have nothing. Y'all have barns. My family from East St. Louis, and I swear when we was kids, I used every time we would go, I'd be like, I'm so glad we made it out, Grandma. Thank you. Like, <laughs> next week we were in French Rose and Cramps. Like, my cousins come visit. I'd be like, this yeah, Dang, I've been here since 98. I'm like, I can't. What was your street like in Detroit? Was there gravel? (laughs) Um, You know, people think that, like, like, honestly, okay, yeah, now, because I rolled through the city, I'm not going to lie, and it, like, broke my heart. You what? I was growing up, you got to keep in mind, that was 30, damn near 40 years ago when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. Completely different. People be like, oh, how was Mm -hmm. your, I got a huge backyard, had a four-bedroom house. An upstairs den, a finished basement, like it was wait, not. Wait, wait, wait! You said an upstairs den? Yeah. Well, wait, wait. So there was a den on the first floor and the second floor. Yeah. 
So I've, like, never seen, I've never seen that. That's yeah, it's not what people think. People That's be like, dope. "Oh, you live in the projects." I don't even think we had projects. Not since Diana Ross was a kid. Mm. So you had one of them ninety dollars houses in Detroit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> 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 what's, the, um, what's the apartment buildings over there that they used to show uh, what Martin you. was on? That was in Detroit. Wasn't that by like the, uh, the, the restaurant? Oh, my brother used to go down there. The River Place. Or the River, it was either the River Place or the Riverfront. It's two, two different apartment buildings. Mm. I've never been to Detroit. You I low key, everything I know about it is just y'all niggas making fun of it. So I really have no business. <laughs> What's my I, have, business? I have no business saying all this stuff. I've never seen Detroit. You gotta come and see. No, they tell you don't. They tell you <laughs> unless, unless you know somebody, you should. Be they also Detroit. tell you that Africa is all starving babies and people dying of AIDS. No. <laughs> niggas from Detroit tell you. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you said what? <laughs> somebody put the conference keys was on love and volleyball. <laughs> 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 hey, shout out, shout out, shout out to Detroit. We just playing, man. Yeah, I've never kidding. been. Just kidding. Y'all got the Lions, you know. No, now you got jumps, still. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm. Y'all got Motown. Y'all got cars. Y'all got help cars. me. Somebody help me. I've never been. Y'all got cars. No, no, I'm just. Should. I'm. I'm saying, y'all, y'all. Shout out to got, Detroit. They got. Got more to East St. Louis. Yeah, that is real. You need to see Trick Trick yeah, when you to Detroit. This is not a joke, but I, it's a question. Keisha, I heard, and I actually heard this. This is not a joke. I heard that like there's parts of the city where there's like wild dogs. I think I think CP said dog. that. Yeah. Like a coyote? Like a like a dog. Maybe. I mean, maybe wolves. I, I feel like all coyotes are wild. <laughs> I don't even no, know like, what a wild dog is. Like just running around, I, I think CP had talked about like a, a like it's like little packs of like dogs that don't belong to nobody. They just be dog. I don't know, like stray dogs, like stray dogs. Yeah, you said wild dogs. Like it was a whole different species. Of it. Like it was a lion. <laughs> He's civilized. Wild dogs. That shit is. Yeah, I'm sure it's stray dogs. <laughs> She's like, excuse me, dogs. No, they, you know? no, they you said know. They, they they said there was yeah. You from the good road. parts of Detroit? What are the good parts of Detroit? Right now, there are no good parts. <laughs> you said Saginaw? <laughs> Saginaw is like, like two hours away. Saginaw is country. No. I like a lot of Detroit rappers. Detroit is uh, right she now. Says no good part of Detroit? <laughs> What'd you say, Sid? I asked her, did you say, is there I mean, you got a couple, like on the west side, you got a couple parts on the east side. You got like East English Village on the west side, on the east side. And you have, um, uh, what is it called? It's two parts like over there on the east. And then on the west side, you have like Sherwood Forest. That sounds Sherwood lovely. Forest. Where you at right now? Where you at right now? Would you consider like, oh, this is a cool spot? Or is it like, I'm not, not in Detroit? I told you, I haven't lived in Detroit since we, I was 17. We moved. Oh, okay. Good. So, damn, somebody got blocked. Yeah. What did they say? What they say? Uh, I think they were, they kept spamming, kept putting the same thing. So, yeah. Rosedale Park. Ah, fuck you, Christian. <laughs> I can say somebody blocked. I don't know. It says it says Christian was blocked. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm now then when they <laughs> niggas thought that the Moz was gonna come back chill. No, nah, nigga, they still working. <laughs> oh, so, oh, you didn't do that. Somebody else did that. The Moz be blocking too. I did. I did block that person. What's Shout a out. mod? Yeah, the Moz. They 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 have the power to block too. What's the a mod? mod? A moderator, oh, people mod. that can they, they oh, watch the content. Okay. Shout yeah. out to the mods. That's what's up. Shout out to the mods. Uh my bad. Everybody in here, like, man, don't do Detroit like that. We just kidding. I ain't never been there. I love Detroit. I've been several no times. Several no times. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't performed in uh Detroit City? No. I'm ain't not. that where they booed Bill Burr and then he had to flip the crowd? I was in Philly. Oh, okay. He flipped them though? Yeah. Detroit, Why'd they boo the out of the team? Why'd they boo him? Like, Cause they were just being assholes. They were booing him like years ago, and he was like, he just went through his whole set. He goes, "You gonna fucking boo me? Fuck you, motherfuckers!" And he just kept going throughout the whole boo, and then people would still laugh throughout the boo. It's one of the greatest clips though, because he was like, four minutes, I'm doing all my fucking time." 
you fucking pieces of shit. You got fucking Rocky up a fucking fake statue, and you got a real fucking boxer from here. Three minutes, and I'm not. He said, "I'm not walking off, motherfuckers." <laughs> you have the team. I don't think it fucking. He said, "What they say? They they might as well put some fucking ice skates on and be motherfucking in Disney. They fucking suck. Two minutes, and I'm doing my whole fucking time." <laughs> they're doing him. He's yelling. He's yelling at the crowd, and they start laughing at the end because they're like, "He just doesn't let up. He just keeps cussing them the fuck out." Why they boo in the beginning? They're from Bill Burr. Crowd. They boo. Oh, Bill Burr. Burr. Oh, yeah. They boo Destiny Child. They they did. <laughs> yes, when Destiny Child came out, and they was like, "Can't pay my bills." They was like, "Boo, niggas!" At that time, they booed him. They booed Kobe. He from there. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. They just boo even if they like it. They just boo. <laughs> Who knows? Damn. Bill Burr is hilarious. I couldn't see him saying anything that would. You gotta look it up on YouTube. It's one of the best things ever. Man, Bill Burr. That shit is fucking amazing. I love Bill Burr. I'm gonna look that shit up right after this is over, nigga. That's hilarious. <laughs> that shit, and then Rob put me on um that uh JJ from the sip clip where he does that that show enough intro, nigga. I when I'm having a bad day, I literally watch that and feel better. That shit is so fucking funny, incredibly funny, bro. Man, that was good. Yeah. Has it, has anybody seen um? Louis comeback special? No. No. Nah. Interesting. Very interesting. Never seen never seen anything like it. What is, is that? that good, interesting, or bad interesting, Pat? Um, I'm a I'm a huge fan of him. Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of what he did, but um I've never seen uh somebody address something like that straight up. And he did it in a weird way where he went through every crazy uncomfortable topic first to kind of prep us and then like at the end, he was just like, "All right, you guys want to talk about it?" You know what I mean? And then just oh, sure. interesting, like I said. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what is it on, Pat? He he had to, he had to re release it independently. <laughs> this is not this is not my on his website. Damn. Yeah. All right, one second. That's crazy shit. I ain't saying I didn't even know that shit was out. I thought he was just gonna lay low for like five years and then try to come back out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't read enough about that story of what happened because the the gist of what I I heard from his situation, I, I thought that there would be more. Yeah, you thought I thought it was gonna be more outcry, and um, I thought he was gonna get dragged a lot longer than it did. But you know, I don't know. You never can tell with these things. Like they they. They, I feel like they wait till you get real big and then they, they pull some shit up from Twitter or like people start coming out. And like, that's that's when you know. They pull this show off and everything. Somebody said Keisha's hungry. She on her third plate. <laughs> wait, I just want to say one thing. I just, I am. I eat like a grown man. I just want to say to Stro J, I have seen Coming to America too. Why they in here talking? Y'all know she ain't seen Coming to America. She just seen Baby Boy. I actually have seen Coming to America too. So. <laughs> You just saw baby boy? Hey, 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 Chase. We just met like today. <laughs> I feel like I still got questions. Whole thing. Keisha. Keisha. Whole list is that she and she ain't yet. A whole mm -hmm. list of them. Do you feel blacker? No. How many have you done so far? I feel like you've done I a lot of eight movies in like less than a week. You don't feel blacker? No. I didn't I didn't ever feel like I wasn't black. That's you, you're feel. you're pretty much like our first like scientific like experiment. Like mm -hmm. I, I feel like you're our before and after. Like if you don't <laughs> if you don't feel blacker after these movies, niggas should shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it wasn't whole, like, like I was like not black. Like I was some suburban girl. Like oh my gosh. But no, the thing I is, it's just like oh you ain't seen Harlem Nights. Psh, you ain't black. That's like that's just our whole thing. So. If we, if y'all don't have, even know why y'all say it. It took me three days to watch the color purple. Three, that owe me three days of my life back. Because well, we, you ain't gonna get that from us. This, I know it's a hard watch. You gotta yeah. watch it. It's like a rite of passage movie. Mm -hmm. Keisha mm -hmm. was back and dope back when we was watching the movies. Like <laughs> everybody, nah, like, Keisha, Keisha was building computers by hand. Did y'all know that she has like she's a, she's like a full time? Oh, she's a engineer. full genius. This you is why she didn't have time. 
to watch these damn shows. She was Keisha fucking- was literally running the grid for Detroit Electricity. She was ru- she was working there at wow. the Detroit Power, <laughs> Water and Power. She was there at fourteen. <laughs> and intern didn't have time for that. At eighteen, she didn't have time for the bullshit. <laughs> See, that's what you should be asking. They're like, well, you see Harlem Nights? You'd be like, all right, well, you, can you build a spaceship? <laughs> no, we can't. You got to flex. No, because I let people live. That'd be the thing. You build a spaceship? I'm cool if you have it. <laughs> I, don't th- I don't think she, I don't know anything about engineers. I just said, <laughs> what, what, what are you, a computer engineer? Hmm. So nothing. Can you build a spaceship? Like, can you, no. build, you want one, Sydney? You want to put a down payment down? You want to one, like, for, you know, let's talk about it. Like, how much <laughs> Damn, Sydney, how much money are you making? God damn. He's like, oh, you you got a spaceship. I'm going to lease it. I'm going to lease it. I'm going to lease it. <laughs> I got an extra bill, Ian. <laughs> you see how big his headboard is? That nigga got the, out of, out of the country. That nigga got the pretty princess headboard. That motherfucker. Shit money. <laughs> I'm on a boat. That's why it's rocking. You just lost. That's choppy water, Sid. God damn. <laughs> well, yeah. the dark sea, you can never trust it. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. Not even a good liar. <laughs> I was in the room. Sorry, go ahead. This is how I ended up in the fucking lie with you and, and to here because he was like, oh, okay, well, no, call to here. Yeah, yeah, go though. That was hilarious. We talking about broke my back or leg? You said leg. leg. Then, your, then your ass wanted to, he was like, yeah, we at the hospital. I was like, Oh, okay, and he's saying this in the background. Then he was like, "Turn the camera, nigga." Then he gonna know you're not in the hospital, nigga. I'm trying to keep it at an angle. No, no, no. Turn the camera so he can see my leg hurt. He really nigga, like, he's like, "You need anything?" I was like, "I'm straight. I'm gonna be good, man. I'm, you know me." <laughs> that nigga was smoking a cigarette and shit. Like, I'm, 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 I'm thug it out. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. This lie. This be lying for no reason. Y'all choose violence. I'm nervous. I get. I'm shy. I have anxiety. So sometimes, you know. So you lie. What happened? So you lie. My father passed away. Keep going, guys. What, what year? 2011. You can't, you can't use that number. It's 2011. Nigga. You never know what's gonna come back to you. What's up, Patrick? That nigga tried to throw it off of him. <laughs> you never know what's gonna hit you. You guys. You guys. <laughs> so I'm trying to make records. <laughs> That's oh, oh my god! Hey, how y'all feel about Drake saying? How y'all feel about Drake saying that uh, he wouldn't exist if it, if it wasn't for Bow Wow? It's true. Maybe yeah. Drake said he he wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Bow Wow. Yeah, I don't see the direct connection, but I could see. Well, here's the thing. Bow Wow inspired a lot of people. So. Nobody wants to talk about. It's like the MC Hammer effect. Nobody wants to act like MC Hammer wasn't true. But for the, the little bit, Bow Wow was that dude. He was like eight years old, rapping with people. He's like, oh, it's a little phenomenon. So right. Drake was probably like a little younger than him. Like, oh, shit, that's cool. I'm a kid. And then, you know, now listen, he tapered off. But you could say <laughs> Bow Wow. <laughs> Bow Wow inspired a couple, you know, people in the beginning. You feel me? Like I can see how he inspired him. Bow Wow mm. is in no is is no doubt a legend in every way. Like whoa, the fact whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not saying he's a legend. Think about no, wait, think about it. Think about it. He, he was like somebody. No, 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 no. Well, well, but there's, inspire there's, or there wouldn't be in me if it wasn't you. Like pave the way. Inspire. I, oh, I was watching you on TV. Like I want to be like him or pave the way. Like. Well, I don't know because I think that Bow Wow's Bow Wow's, Bow Wow's whole thing was being young. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like no one's ever no one's ever been like, man, my bars really came from Bow Wow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I, I was listening. I was listening to his cadence and his wordplay. Like <laughs> I've never I've never really heard that. His whole thing was like, I'm 14 and I'm I'm doing it. You know, which is crazy impressive. So I feel like his whole thing was just being young, um, which didn't translate to being old. <laughs> so I, I just feel like that maybe that's why it tapered off. But I just feel like he was his whole thing was like inspiring because it was like a young black dude killing it. Not really like Drake, like he inspired my flow or my style or anything. Yeah, I think it was just like a young dude doing it at a young age. Like that could be, you know, that could be inspiring. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I look up to I mean, so Kevin and, Campbell. I just, yeah, I, don't know. I look up to you guys. You guys inspire me. I think it's really about just, you know, what speaks to your heart. And you guys speak to mine. Oh. 
Anybody uh, want to say? My mute, Sydney. I know. I was like, you full of shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking compliments. Not nobody wants this love. Fuck it. I'll save it from I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> no, I, I accept sarcastic uh, compliments because it's it like you my heart. I really like y'all. <laughs> we like you too, Sid. We just we just feel like we can't drop our guard. We don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> nah, drop it, man. Drop it. <laughs> I, I <get> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <Damn>, man. <laughs> we can talk about it later. Stop it, man. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> hey, did did y'all book did y'all book Keisha's house too soon? Is that not okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is that not okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You came, it was the second time you brought it up. I thought about it the first time. We did actually. We actually. Like his daddy just now. I was waiting to build with his daddy now. Just had a wake in that house, and then we threw the body back to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, I'm doing something. <sighs> Why you talking to your dog like the dog named Hazel? Yeah, she over here wilding out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, there you go. That's what. Is that what you wanted? Huh? Is that what you wanted? Patrick, I know good and damn well you ain't talking about nobody background. What is? Turn the I camera. You the best <laughs> turn the <laughs> camera. Hey, Patrick. Patrick is literally. Studio. Patrick is homeless. He just has a place to it put all his shit like at. But Patrick be Patrick be living like a homeless person, bro. Aha, uh-huh, that's what you think, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my this is my creative space that has good internet and is soundproof. But I do have a home. Yeah, because it's a kid's nigga. <laughs> you in the back of the kid's <laughs> <pizzas> right now. <laughs> Highly improbable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, nigga. That's stupid. They oh, got man. a big-ass house. Don't you got a big, big-ass big house, Pat, with a pool and all kinds of shit? It's pretty nice, but it's too echoey. I can't be doing stuff like this in here. So I, I drove all the way over here for you guys. And y'all were talking about me buying three thousand dollars sweaters and shit. This nigga drive a goddamn Ferrari. No, I don't. Nigga, no, Pat, no, I don't. Pat, when we had when we had the t-shirt office, Pat came and picked up some shit from Will in the goddamn Ferrari. Let the doors up, threw the t-shirts in, chucked them to deuces, and drove the fuck happen. off. I don't even that think is- he paid Will for the shirts. I was about to say, where's the transaction in that? <laughs> you just <laughs> described a robbery. I can't bitch. In a nice car. Yeah. I would I wouldn't put it to Pat. When we used to work at all dev digital, Pat had the most random life. Like we would see Pat hates the water. Absolutely hates it. But then over the weekend, we would see him on a yacht with like 30 women, just him and his cousin Fred. And we just be like, the fuck were you doing? Them niggas went to the desert to play real life fruit ninja. Throwing watermelons and honeydew melons at each other while they swung swords through the air. That's just and what he does. If it's Hold being on. shot, that's working. It's okay, been an hour and a half. You've been eating for an hour and a half, Keisha. Keisha <laughs> got a buffet, goddamn. Keisha. An hour and a half. Either you chew slow <laughs> as fuck. I was hungry. You gotta do the ABCs when you chew up your food. Like what? Really 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 fucking true. Keisha said. Keisha said <laughs> if she don't hungry. eat all the food. She said if she don't eat all the food on the plates, then it's still the first plate. It's not seconds or thirds. <laughs> Keisha is doing I full endurance training. I eat. You know her mama like, now shit, that's the last of the meatballs. Now goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha, Keisha always talk about she ain't been on no date in LA. Nigga, the word got out about your appetite. That's why <laughs> Keisha is definition of That's why I had to go to Detroit. Detroit dudes take you out. I had six days this week. I'm telling you. You said Detroit dudes take you out? Yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> you to say, you want me to tour home for 30 minutes? I mean, Get in the you truck right now. Do you want me to put you on one of my homeboys? Uh, take you. Take your blip off the map right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take you out right now, girl. <laughs> Take your flip <laughs> off the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's stupid, dog. Sydney, damn. Why about, it's Chase, my nigga? You keep, nigga. Blaming, <laughs> you keep blaming me. It's my dad. <laughs> wait, wait, which is it? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said you high or <laughs> I don't smoke, guys. No, I don't. What smoke are you either. eating? Pizza. This whole time. 
Well, it's an unlimited supply. <laughs> Listen, I that was you because I just texted you, motherfucker. Oh! <laughs> Wow! Text me, text me again. Text me again. I bet you're gonna be muted. You sneaky motherfucker! I don't know how to mute it that quick. I'm not that savvy. Damn! Damn. To hear. On the side, nigga. All you gotta do is flip this little thing. Here, here, Damn. Here. here. Text, text everybody in the group. We gonna figure out. I, nah, I just, them red hands. Face. Yo, it is not me, nigga. I'm being them blessed, red nigga. hands. I text the nigga. I, I text the nigga Tess in his phone. <laughs> Immediately, it was definitely you. I'm texting my dad. Hold on, take him. Look, look, look. <laughs> you just what turned is, your phone back on, Cindy. We saw what you. What is that movie. even mean? <laughs> what does that even prove? <laughs> I'm so innocent right now. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas would march for me right now because they like. I'm so niggas. innocent right now. It's crazy. It's hilarious. <laughs> that, that nigga, bro. That nigga silly just be lying. Hey, bro. Anybody want to send me a couple hundred dollars in the cash app? Go do your thing. <laughs> I don't look for much, but boy, Charlie, make a quick three fifty. So like, <sighs> hey, that was genius to hear. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, dog. That's the crazy thing. It's really not me. It's Chase. That nigga got to the bottom of this. <laughs> Chase is lying. <laughs> and they caught you like a PI. Yeah, see, I text you. <laughs> they caught you like an old bad guy. <laughs> oh my god! A lot of blood in Hollywood, but I don't be doing nothing, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you come back tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Right. Come back. I thought you were in LA. No, I'm in Detroit. Oh, you well, were? Yeah. Oh, you are in Detroit. It's Wake Week back in Detroit. She had to go home. <laughs> <to the street. laughs> hey, <laughs> Wake Week? <laughs> but wait, imagine they hold, the they hold imagine all the fires the bodies from January to now. <laughs> to Wake week? Oh, wait, it's right before March Madness every year. It's for sure a club flyer. That nigga <laughs> Patrick said, imagine the flyer. No, I'm joking, Sydney. You said what? Wake week. No. I'm just what kidding. What's your bad bitch here, boy, back there? <laughs> <laughs> you must take an ad. Pick the fashion over ad. I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bad bitch headboard. <laughs> That's the dick me down headboard. Uh, <laughs> uh, crazy nigga to be on one boat and these jokes. Sydney didn't see it coming back on him like this. This nigga. Like, <laughs> you got some bullets. I thought we were going to use it. Sydney's nigga makes him wear a wig so he could pull some hair. <laughs> I mean, that was good. I'll let you have that. That was good. That was like, I have nothing. I mean, he didn't know how to respond. <laughs> oh. Stand in a count. <laughs> Stand in a count. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Zoom with the homies. Walk forward. Oh, fire. He was ready. <laughs> I'm standing in a count. <laughs> Do you know where you are? Zoom with the homies. <laughs> you okay? You okay? <laughs> Nigga did a, that nigga did a commercial drop. You are watching Zooming with the Homies with Sydney Castillo. <laughs> Only on was YouTube. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That shit funny. Oh, man. Hey, man, I, I, I appreciate everybody letting me, uh, well, not letting me, but was sticking with me while I took that little break, man. That shit was so, that shit was much needed. I definitely needed that. I appreciate that. To hear how many days you take. on your break. Tear, tear, tear. Relax. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how long was your break? I appreciate everybody. I appreciate, I appreciate, man, all the, the gifts and the, the calls, the text messages. I needed to just step back for a second and buy a couple cars and, uh, <laughs> That's it. Sorry, <laughs> mm, I'm not doing how long, well. how long did you take off though? To hear, uh, I took off like a week, week and a half. That's good. I, saw, I took off zooming with the homies. Okay, I took off zooming with the homies because I was still shooting the, the other stuff. But right, 
Yeah. So are you are you down to three um three episodes a day? Come on. Shh. Are you down I to do, three episodes? Uh, Three, three a week. I do three episodes a week. Yeah, now. a week. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, three okay, episodes okay. a week. Yeah. That way you don't burn yourself out too, like this year, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, well, we start going back on the road, and um, you see Chase face in April. Chase face because his fucking phone went off. Sorry, or whatever, long. whatever, but go whatever. Yeah, so I'm not even getting no messages. We we go we going we going back on the road in May, so we just had to we had to balance it out. It was it was necessary. It's a great thing you're doing, bro. Hey, what do you um? What, what's your uh? You just doing weekend shows or do you performing during the week too? No, it's gonna be probably like Thursday through Sundays. So, okay, okay, better. Yeah. I was just asking for uh shooting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be back on Mondays and shit. Yeah. Hey, uh, Keisha, what pizza toppings did they let you order? Did they let me? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know what pizza topics you had on. <laughs> it didn't go well. No, I'm starting to. Feel like <laughs> you said you what? Kev, I'm starting to wonder if Kev was right now because you you just what's going on today? Right, right about what? You got your Gucci eight. <laughs> you recycling jokes? It's been good. You recycling no, jokes? I'm just wondering, like, you want five? What's what's going on today? I got I I got my Gucci eight. Yes. <laughs> Look, look at Chase's face. It's <laughs> Recycle, recycling jokes, huh? Recycling jokes. That was my first time here. Hey, Chase will unhear it, all right? Unhear it. It's unoriginal. <laughs> it's unoriginal. Yeah. Uh, man, come back, man. What you doing, dog? Nah, stay away. He, 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 he's just going to say something negative. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't say he had to dick me down head boy. He's just, okay, he's just gonna he's just gonna talk about my coochie. <laughs> he got a wax today, that's what it is. Oh okay. All right, that's, that's all I had. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You said what you said, huh? <laughs> that's a nigga that don't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. I just wanted to know what pizza toppings you had. You know, I deserve I pepperoni, that. Pepper and mushroom. Wait, what? Pepperoni, bell pepper, and mushroom. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, Shot the nigga to deliver. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a pizza fan. So I was just asking. You know, I didn't deserve all that, but you go. You know, you, you said it. You said it. People laughed. People had a good time. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I swear I've never seen Pat like this. Pat is on fire. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, oh no, they doing it in the comments too. They said this nigga Pat yeah, happy. Yeah. He got stretched yeah. out. Oh, he, no. He it. We, we could all we can all read these things to hear. I don't know why this nigga got street yard and started acting different. Oh yeah, you can highlight the comments. <laughs> you can shout out the comments now. Look at you. Oh, all, all tech savvy. <laughs> we can read the comments. They right there. Stretched out. <laughs> Shit. Is that a thing? Oh, That's when you walk the nigga to the door and be like, all right, well, just text me when you get home. <laughs> right. Man, I need some of what that. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, I'll tell you, I was not prepared. Nigga, last time we was on here, nigga, I had we <laughs> Ron G. Got them Cornelia. <laughs> this, this is totally different. This hey, something. <laughs> someone, someone said I'm glowing like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yo, man. Fuck yo. Oh, Tim, yo. Nigga, you hilarious. Nigga. Yo, nigga, that is oh. a wildin', nigga. Y'all see, see how y'all see how quickly it could all change. Niggas was on my side. Niggas was all niggas was all for me just a second ago. <laughs> 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 
I'm trying they, to they will, they will waver with the wind, dog. <laughs> I, had, I had it all. <laughs> I'm trying to get food out too, Pat. Just let me know. They said, uh, they said Pat got the wipe off towel right behind him. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Listen. <laughs> I should have did drugs for this. This is crazy. I, I was not prepared oh. for this. That's funny. <laughs> oh, That's funny. Got that wop, nigga. That nigga, oh. pulled, that nigga pulled the, the towel. <laughs> Clean yourself up. <laughs> I mean, if I fight back, it's just going to seem pathetic. So. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen somebody get packed out by the whole room and they still try to like send shots back? Like, bro, come on. <laughs> listen, listen, wait listen. a minute. You have the funniest fucking audience, though. Yeah, they go, they go for the jug. Somebody literally just said they go for the juggler. I didn't even see this one at first, nigga. He got his bussy beat up. <laughs> Man, <laughs> nigga, when I saw that. Yes, Y'all I thought it was gonna be a family environment this time. This shit was a totally <laughs> different. But we was telling to here last night. We was like, "No, to here, you have to take a break. You have to do all this." Man, these shots been fired since they got in there. As soon as Keisha walked away, this shit took a turn. They, they started seeing <laughs> that little layout that she had. It was like, oh, <laughs> it was she all good. Have she walked in away. Detroit, nigga. Keisha that, walked that, away. That shit is all bad, nigga. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Somebody talking about poor Pat. Pat ain't no goddamn poor. Oh, Pat. Thank, thank you. Pat been thank going you. to everybody all night it's long. Pat asked for this shit, shit all night. <laughs> Pat, they said you're over outside. <laughs> <laughs> And, Sydney and, is supposed to be coming for. A nigga said I got good gamed on the way to my lift. That's fucked up. <laughs> somebody said you low key had a nigga in the but he did you wrong. Maybe that's no, why. They said keep your head up clean. That is fucked up. Listen. <laughs> yo, yo, shit. Oh my god. I don't know what happened tonight, bro. Niggas, this is a, this niggas is a loaded at me. Unloaded on me in the last 15 minutes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I deserve this. I can't say I don't deserve it. This shit went from talking about ghosts. <laughs> you had it the whole show, nigga. You had it the whole. You took your foot off for one second. They was like, get him. <laughs> nigga, I, you, I appreciate this. This is called balance. You said that Keisha's ghost had bayonets, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All Come I saw on, was motherfucker stuff. Oh, <laughs> I did this for the chat. I did that for the chat. God damn. I didn't know the chat was going to get my ass back. <laughs> I, I did all oh. that for y'all. Somebody said they were a throw baby about Pat. <laughs> <laughs> the betrayal. The betrayal. The betrayal. It's okay. Cindy, got Cindy got quiet. He said he had that dick him down headboard. Cindy just been reading the comments. So this is what I'm they right. said. I'm this is what they said. <laughs> I'm done. It's oh. okay. Bunch of bunch of bullies pulled up, huh? Is that what hey, happened? Bullies, man. Bunch of bullies learned how to type. Okay, I see you guys. Bunch of bullies learned. How to type. <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys. A bunch of bullies <laughs> learned how to yeah. type. Like niggas took leather gloves off. Was like, your, all right, here we with go. Your, <laughs> with your rudeness, I see you guys. You're just rude. That's all I gotta say. No, no roast. You're rude. <laughs> oh, it was all good 15 minutes ago. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Yo, to hear. Y'all is, is different. It can change so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the nice one here. <laughs> it can change. Yeah, it so looks like you've been over there writing jokes right now, Sydney, just in case it goes left again. Sydney, like this. Listen, I ain't going to take too many bad bitch comments right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I think he been slowly writing down shit. He got quiet. He started looking around and shit. Nigga, you no, know, nigga. They focus right here. You did you did all the dirtiness. That's why Pat got on here amped up. <laughs> with my ass today. Why is, why is everybody in here cold but Chase? You got heating or something? <laughs> everybody is bundled up. <laughs> you got heating in your, your crib or something? <laughs> it's a little cozy. I got my Ugg slippers on. Do you really? Yeah. Your Uggs? Yeah, man. You got blue ivies and Uggs? I was like, but he might be the real bad bitch on here. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> 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 nigga went to Atlanta. 
<laughs> got 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 all the shoe wear. <laughs> that nigga got the, the fuzzy Rihanna slippers. They came back from Atlanta with a whole lot of jeans that didn't have front pockets. We was like, nigga, what are you doing? <laughs> Where you put your keys at, my nigga? <laughs> Hey, somebody in the comments said, Pat, take a trip to Keisha's house. You've been murdered. Keisha, 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 did you not see we moved on to Chase and his... And his... I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop trying yeah, to reel it back. No, Chase. come on. No, wait, wait, wait. Come on, everybody. Chase got a Fenty, Fenty, Fenty furry Chase slides. <laughs> come on. No, no. Let's talk about Chase. <laughs> Let's talk about Chase. <laughs> Chase got furry, furry slides from Rihanna and oh, white, and white too. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, listen, we about uh, ten minutes out for the end Crazy. of the show, so we're gonna get ready and start doing these sign offs, man. Oh man, um, you make mine long. You say what? My sign off, make it real long and good, like you know what I mean. Whoa, are you, are you, you old, nigga? I don't, that I don't, damn I don't, thing. That wasn't me. So you said I don't know that bitch thing. Can you make my long? What is that? What is that? We're gonna sign off. Hey, bro. okay, sign off. Let's do it. I was yes. saying, yes. like, <laughs> my neck is. I'm stretching. I'm yeah, stretching. Yeah, you're closing everything. First of all, when you're tall, sometimes you have knots and just you have to keep stretching. So this wasn't trying to be right. like. I was just kind of no. stretching my neck as well. I would not. Uh -huh. Okay. If you're over six two, clap your hands. Well, let's go. Um, I don't got that. <laughs> let's go, Chase, um, Sydney, Keisha, Pat on the sign offs. What was the order again? You first. You first. I thought you it was first. Sydney, okay. then Keisha, then Pat. And when did you come out? Uh, season two of uh, Bigger comes out uh, April 22nd on BET. Plus. Right now, every Wednesday. So tomorrow. Y'all can check out the first season of Bigger on BET after uh, Sisters and First Wife's Club. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that definitely was blessing me in the cash app. I didn't uh, look yet because I thought that that would be disrespectful um, to look, but I, I definitely saw my phone going off. I want to thank uh, you disrespectful motherfuckers and um, this Zooming with the homies. I didn't think that y'all would <laughs> – this would take a turn after we had a prayer circle and the last one for Tahir taking some time off. Um, we we got in here and this 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 shit was was bananas. But thank you guys because I'm gonna think about all this stuff when I roll up uh, afterwards. Um, <laughs> shout out to to here uh, and and, and the Mister Rogers switch of the glasses because the nigga got on here at first and couldn't see. <laughs> the nigga had to put on his, this shit with the prescription. Nigga, it was like nice glasses to here. That nigga had to switch it up. Like, oh hold on, nigga, let me go ahead and see you, motherfuckers. Uh, but to hear, I, I appreciate you, bro. I, it's always a blessing, man. This is always a good time, man. You, 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 you definitely keep blessing people, and you, you, you kept us entertained during the quarantine, and we gonna fuck with you afterwards, baby. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, Sid, what you got for him? Sid Vicious? You know what I'm saying? Yo, to hear, I just want to outdo Chase's uh thing real quick. I want to say that you're, you're you're amazing. Kids love you. You inspire the next <laughs> people. Your glasses that keep changing is just like your light. It just keeps growing and growing, and we're proud of you. Uh, I knew when you didn't wear jewelry or hats. And to see you now is a night and day. Um, listen, thank you for having me a part of your your, your, your platform. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow when I do an episode of uh, that show that, I, uh, that that show I'm doing yeah. tomorrow with you. And uh, yeah, again. Also, uh, I just want to say thank you to Patrick for being hilarious. Appreciate hey. you. We appreciate you. Uh, see, uh, and uh, you know, uh, you know, all of your boy, uh, you know, and thank you for all the cash caps. I think somebody sent me like a couple hundred, somebody sent me a thousand, somebody sent me five hundred. <laughs> thank y'all for all of that. I appreciate it. I love y'all. Uh, my new R&B album come out next month. It's called. <laughs> and that's it. Got it. Take it away. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you again to here for having me. It's always been a great time. Um, guys, thank you to um shout out to Isaiah, Shamika Snow, Kim Younger, Uplifted, 
Brandon Reese, Reggie Red, Brandon Reese, Reggie Cuz, Keep It Smooth, Chanel Renee, Tiffany Long John, Jasmine Dixon. Hey, shout out to Jasmine. Adam, Adam David, Jastir, Knapp, Mario, Darren, Cameron, Selena, Taking the Stage, Jose, Sharice, Prince Wilson, Young Deuces, Chase Lee, Sean. Um, thank all y'all. Everybody tuning in. Uh, nice to meet you, Chase. Um, he wasn't too mean to me today. And y'all can check me out on uh, my new show on Kev on Stage app, um, Black Power Off Lilway, every Wednesday, Thursday. I post it on my page. Um, and also a podcast, Nobody Asks Me, on Mondays. Um, and then y'all can follow me on Instagram. I post whatever I do on there. It's Keisha E. That's all. Oh, okay. Saw you, Pat. Shit. Keisha, I was trying to do it, but I don't know why my computer just froze up and wouldn't let me put you up on the big screen, but we got you in there. Um, Sydney, you, what? You, said. you say what, Sydney? Totally repeat everything. Now she got the big screen. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Start over. The audio still works. <laughs> All right, what you got? Uh, what you got for him? Um, 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 well, first of all, this was a lot of fun. Appreciate you for having me on to here. Appreciate uh, Chase, Sid, and Keisha for all the laughs. Uh, make sure you guys uh, just follow me on YouTube and Twitch, Patrick Cloud on all platforms. And uh, keep supporting Zooming with the homies. Keep bothering to hear about how much he works um, to make sure that he rests. And, uh, yeah, man, just um, keep on keep on supporting the squad. We have a lot of stuff coming up with you guys. Uh, excuse me, for you guys. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Appreciate y'all for flaming me up, too. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to Brandon Reese Chess, Checks, uh, Chanel, Tiffany, Keep It Smooth, Prince, Mario, Adam, Brandon, Darren, Sharice, uh, Cameron taking the stage, Jose Young Deuces, Chase Lee, Uplifted, Natalie, Forever Amber, Sean. Uh, appreciate y'all, uh, Ashley F. Uh, thank y'all so much, man. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for pulling up tonight, having a great time with us. Uh, Angela as well, she supported <clears throat> uh, New episode of More to the Story Dropped today, new episode of Word is Hard Drops tomorrow um, Damn, who's on that one tomorrow? I don't even know oh, uh, Real quick, while he's doing that, thank you so much For everybody who cash at me too, I'm so sorry I didn't even say that, appreciate you guys, a lot, a lot Thank you <laughs> uh, And Caitlin too, Caitlin just Came through with it uh, I, can't, I really can't Remember who's on tomorrow's episode But I'm going to post about it Right after the show, I'll post it in the morning. Uh, I think it's Cleo. I think Cleo's on tomorrow's episode. Yeah, Cleo's yep, on yeah, tomorrow. That's a slick living. Uh, yep. And then a new episode of Damn and That You Scary on Thursday. We got that chick Angel on there. It's going to be a great time, man. Uh, very very much looking forward to you guys seeing that and enjoying that. Um, <clears throat> we've got more episodes of Explain This coming out. Um, me and Kev, actually, Sydney's going to be on there tomorrow. We got like, I think, 60. What y'all, what y'all going to do to me? Nothing. Hmm. I'm at Chase Comedy on all social media. Yeah, because like yeah, I was like, this, that, that shit threw me off. I'm like, what y'all what gonna do to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, quick announcement I, will, I will not be here tomorrow. I got a guest host tomorrow. Uh, flyer will go up. Uh, Woo! Out, so it will be up tomorrow. But I'll see y'all back on Thursday. We got uh, the Keep It Lace. Uh, a lot of fun. And then on Tuesday, we got oh, Fiend here. for No Limit. That was not me. Uh, we no. got Fiend for No Limit. It's going to pull up on that one. That's going to be a great show as well. So a lot of goodness coming up, man. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Actually, see y'all Thursday on another episode. But pull up tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a really good show. I packed it out to make sure y'all love it. And I'll talk to y'all later. All right, peace, guys. Bye.